you guys. <laughs> my dad's the original power line. Damn. Damn. You guys, I had the movie. I forgot. No, I didn't, I didn't forget, but I forgot that, that part. Mm-hmm. I had the movie before everybody. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Oh, really? Damn. I had the movie before everybody. My dad, before Tevin Campbell, yeah. my Some, dad yeah. was the original power line. <laughs> What is good, guys? It's your boy, Corey. It's your boy, John. And welcome back to the Artistry Drop, where we feature stories from today's rising artists. Yes, sir. If you like being inspired, don't miss out on our weekly episodes, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification to be notified when we drop new episodes. Guys, we are going to dive right in. Our guest today is a Los Angeles native. He is somewhat of a chameleon in this industry. He's involved in everything from music to comedy and film. Guys, Please welcome Joey Diggs Jr. What it is. Let's go. Joey, Hello. welcome to the show. We appreciate you coming on. Yes, indeed. Thank you guys for having me. Love the vibe. Love hey, everything about it. you guys. Appreciate you. it. Appreciate guys, we got to talking a little bit prior to, but yes. I want everybody to know these guys are really nice people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And, and they have the, one, one has a lovely girlfriend, too, that is hey. very nice as well. So <laughs> yeah. Hey, appreciate you, bro. Yeah. Is this your yes, first sir. podcast? No, no. Oh, wait. Podcast. Or show, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you've done some, maybe like I'm sure you had shows. interviews. No, bro, yeah. this, this might be my first podcast. Really? Okay. Like, prior to pandemic, I don't think like podcasts were a thing, but not yeah. like yeah, you know, not, not as not yeah. Big, it, yeah. Honestly, I feel like uh, the pandemic is what really you know pushed a lot of people no. to start podcasts. Yeah, you know, it did, it's kind of sure. like it. it kind of pushed us as well but mm-hmm. even before like the pandemic we had talked about doing something like this mm-hmm. even in seattle you right. know it wasn't to this extent yeah but you know it, it was like uh because i was doing youtube and you know for a while and you know doing a lot of tutorials so it was like i cut we kind of talked about like bringing it over to you know a podcast or a, a radio type of show mm-hmm. you know and i mean we're out right. here doing it now it took us a while but you know like i, I think we're killing it yeah, yeah. Right. And, yeah. and this is my first podcast so. hey, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, why, you know, we, math, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's why we appreciate you coming yes, on you appreciate know you all, man. yeah Definitely. for sure all right so before we dive in let's get into the drink of the day all right the drink of the day is uh another artist you drop um special you know i'm becoming a tipsy bartender myself yep. so i've been making these custom drinks and this is called um the forbidden punch so forbidden it's punch. with um uh it started off with uh in strawberry influ- infused vodka and then i put some blue curacao in there um with some lemon lemon juice and then i topped it off with um a lemon lime soda <laughs> like sprite and um yeah i just put some dried uh, dragon fruit on there and then i poured the sprite on top of the dragon fruit so it really dragon. creates that <laughs> gradient that purple and blue gradient and then i just added some dragon fruit chunks on top and then yeah garnished it with a little dragon fruit wedge yeah that shit looks fire though like, i definitely thought it was a prop <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. like i was like what are, what are these yeah I thought, you, I thought it was like gel you know like the jelly yeah. things i was like oh, right, right. Little... no that's like i that's told you, you know, we, we we come in you know with cocktails for every guest we have it's a different cocktail oh, every shit. single time so yes, you know this is the first time he's made this it'll be the first time all of us try it so yes, sir. let's go ahead let's and try go. it let's do it cheers 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 there you go cheers. Oh damn, that's good. Oof. What yeah. in the Kool-Aid? Mm. <laughs> like, that's fire. T- that tastes is. like a, a Kool-Aid Jolly Rancher type of. Whoa, that's whoa, good. Right, go start over. <laughs> <laughs> What's the alcohol in it? Um, it's a stra- strawberry infused vodka. So it's just vodka. Yeah, it's just vodka. Damn, but it's I, a honestly, strawberry I can, vodka. Okay, I can barely yeah. taste it. I know that's what I'm yeah. saying. I'm like, where, where, where I couldn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I feel like that sprite though. Like, yeah, it, the sprite. It, it hits first, but yeah. that's like I, really it, good. It kind of needed to make it a punch. That's why yeah. I call it the forbidden punch. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's give some hand claps. Let's go. Because this is actually really good. Yeah, this, this one is actually really yes, good. Sir. All right, mm-hmm. guys. Now that we got to the drink of the day, let's dive in and le- learn a little bit more about Joey. So, yeah. um, you were born and raised here in LA. Mm-hmm. Like, the fact that you grew up in a city of entertainment and, you know, everything, everything is out here. Like, do you sort of feel like you had to acclimate yourself uh, on becoming an artist out here? Um, not necessarily, man. I just, um, like growing up in LA, I, I was more so of a watcher, man. I, mm-hmm. I watched like mm-hmm. everyone, like a lot of, a lot of people that you guys, that we all see just yeah. on the internet, just in general, like I just like have spent time just like watching. Mm-hmm. Right, right. You watch Marvel? Of, of course, course yeah. yeah. I'm the watcher, I think. <laughs> okay, you know what okay. I'm saying? Like involved and not involved all yeah. in the same time. So I think starting out, 
I, and I was afraid to be an artist. I was mm-hmm. also a shy kid. So yeah. being an artist wasn't necessarily like the go-to. I, I, I grew up out here, so I wanted to play basketball and then play football. But yeah. then mm-hmm. after high school and during high school, I started singing a lot more and the girls started they, they you know, doing their thing. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> you know, wait a second. Mm-hmm. So then after that, after that experience, I started pursuing artistry. And then like now... Like I spent, I spent like most of my teen and twenties chasing the artistry thing. Yeah. But now, mm, bro, like okay. as far as the typical artist mm-hmm. goes, that's not the uh, the goal. Because mm-hmm. being in LA, you get to see so many different talents, yeah, so right, many different yeah. people doing so many different things. Some right. can do like you guys do twelve things, right, and right, you're yeah. just two people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when you see the uh, the kind of like a melting pot that mm-hmm. LA actually is. Yeah, for sure. You start rethinking yourself like, okay, I don't want to just be an artist. I want to be a director. I want to be a writer. I want to yeah. be a comedian. I mm-hmm. want to be a whatever I want to be yeah. in that moment. Right, right. So the gift of be- growing up in LA is that there's so many options that you can choose from. That is true. Mm-hmm. And that allowed me to just broaden my horizon yeah. rather than just want to be an artist yeah. Narrow, yeah. and focus on one thing exactly. it's like living out here there's so much things that you can actually venture into mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. you know give a try and if it doesn't work try the next thing if that doesn't work keep mm-hmm. going you know or not even if it doesn't work work on it can and continue working on mm-hmm. it and then once you build a foundation there start working on something else at the that same is time yeah, that, right. yeah, that you is. know so you become your own because in, in, with technology now, too, it's like our iPhone can do so many things. Yeah, right, right, and for it's, sure. Our iPhones are just like, kind of mm-hmm. like, I feel like they're trying to imitate the human brain. Like mm-hmm. our computers are trying to mm-hmm. imitate who we are already. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's like, as a person, you can do all these different things yeah. mm-hmm. effectively. Mm-hmm. You know, right. I know they say don't, you know, try not to spread your, your skills and your time too thin. But dude... It's 2022. You yeah. can spread some shit. Facts. You know, some right. stuff. Sorry. Facts. Facts. Right. No, you're good. No, you, you, you can cuss. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, you can yeah. spread some shit. Yeah. So get it all done. You know, don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't limit yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You know. No, that's dope. And you know, going into my next question, kind of, it, it kind of relates to what we talked about. You are literally like the definition of an artist. You mm-hmm. do everything. You sing. You mm-hmm. act. Create visuals. Um, right. But when it comes to music you know that's how i think i originally um followed you and you know that's how we linked up we're talking about i think creating some music videos Mm -hmm. you know and stuff like that but how did you actually find your way into music and like getting into singing well i again growing up out here in la that was everybody wanted to be a singer everybody wanted to be usher everybody wanted to be you (laughs) know somebody so my dad actually i'm joey diggs jr so my dad actually is a singer as well and he uh sang the uh I grew up watching him on TV and listening to him on TV. He okay. was the Coca-Cola jingle guy for like five, six years. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, man. And like just seeing that and, and many other things too. Just, right, so right. just being able to be at home and randomly look over and, and hear my dad yeah. who's in the other room, yeah. you know, who's mad at me because I didn't do my homework or <laughs> something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, the reality is, yep. you know. Uh-huh. He's see, the guy with a deep voice. You know, yeah. No, he, he's, he's got a high voice. Oh, he's, he's got, got a high voice? voice. Okay. You know, he's stern, but he's got can a we, high can voice. Can we find that jingle on YouTube? Oh, yeah. So yeah. It's, it's Joey, Coca-Cola. Joey, Coca-Cola. Joey, Coca-Cola. Joey Diggs. Joey okay. Diggs. Okay. We're, we're going to have to uh, look that up. Yeah. That's yeah. dope, though. So it's like he really inspired you to for sure kind of get into music. Especially my name is Junior. Like, I'm like, oh, if he can do it, I can do it, too, for sure. Yeah. Like, for sure. Because you know, I'm yeah. like, he's in there, yeah, right, right now, chilling, yeah. like, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> that, that's dope. Is that like, would that, would you say that's the only reason you really found music was because your dad? If if he wasn't a singer and you know and, and all that, like, do you think you would have pursued music at all? I think just on the fact that Michael Jackson existed, mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm. Both like I only listened still I only listen for a long time I only listened to my dad and Michael Jackson like till like fourteen bro that's me right yeah. there you know what I'm saying yeah, bro yeah. like and I still only listen to Michael Jackson Dang, yeah. that's me too yeah. <laughs> hey we're gonna I got questions about that too so oh, we're, no, we're, we're gonna, yeah we're we're gonna talk he about that to it every day I, I listen to it, bro, yeah, <laughs> bro. Yeah. so so if there was if I, if like so I would say my dad is a big impact on my on my singing like aspirations mm. but Michael Jackson yeah. was the so it was the guy that was not around me, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So there was my, the, I saw the the guy yeah. who was, you know, on TV, but yeah. then I never got to see the guy that was blowing my mind. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. mind. I was like, oh, where? And I wanted to find him so bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so, yeah. 
you know, as a kid. Yeah, bro, yeah. Uh, trust me, I feel you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel you on we'll, that. We'll dive a little yeah. bit deeper into that. But yeah. switching off, I saw that you went to uh, the Grammys in 2019. Oh, like, yes, how, how was that experience? And did it, like, inspire you to uh, go deeper into music? It did, man. Yeah. Shout out to my boy Miguel and his, his beautiful uh, girl, Jen. Uh, they invited me out there, man. And um, it was... Uh, it was definitely inspiring, man. And again, I was just a watcher that entire time. Oh, right, man. right. And I, and I know ex- I know to watch because watching is also a form of visualization. Yeah. Mm, you right. know what I'm saying? So when you when you really get present, you you watch what's going on, mm-hmm. you can literally put yourself into the scene like a movie. Right, right, yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? When you're watching a movie, you're yeah. not doing shit, nothing else. You know what, uh-huh. what I'm saying? But you're like, ooh, like I would run too. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So in, the, in that moment, man, shout out to Miguel again and, and Jen. Um, I was able to really see, like, people live their, find their dream. People yep. lose, you know what I'm saying? Like, the right. realities of the shit. And yeah. then mm. the, the day I went to the Grammys, that was the day Kobe died. Oh, oh really? Damn. Damn. So was that had, the same day? That's yeah, crazy. It was, oh. it was, it was, it was, I, went, I went to the Grammys twice. Okay. Oh, okay. But the second time was when, uh, and they had Kobe's thing lit up too, and I went mm-hmm. that day, and it was just weird. Yeah. It was just a weird I'm energy sure. yeah, in yeah. that in the, in the Staples because Center. Because it was supposed to be like a happy moment, yeah. but then that since that happened, it was yeah, very bro. sad. And, and they had only his his jersey lit up too, so there was just real life stuff going yeah. on, and I'm just like, right. okay, well, that's the end of a dream just happened today, yeah. right. and here I am still dreaming. Yeah. Right. So, okay, let's take that's this heavy. shit serious. And yeah, I got yeah. a daughter too, bro, so, right. yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, like... That, that whole thing, that yeah. whole, I was like, excuse me? Yeah. Right. You know, so yeah. the Grammys plus Kobe really like changed my, and then quarantine. Yeah. Right, right after. Right That's, after. Yep. Yeah. And so it was like, ugh. you know, so that, yeah. that definitely that was, a, was a, a shape, a shape shifter for me. Yeah. 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 How, you know? how was the energy in uh, Staples? Like, you know, with the Grammys going on Fuck and then. the energy inside. <laughs> the energy outside, bro, you can hear everybody. Like chanting Going, Kobe and... uh, just, just, just noise. You didn't yeah. know what was yeah. going on, but it, it was presence mm-hmm. you know and we're and it, we're inside yeah a, a thick ass but you can hear that and shit. you can hear everything yeah, that's, that's going crazy. on outside. yeah, yeah, that's, crazy. yeah that's crazy the whole night yeah wow. you know so and then going out after like yeah and seeing all this stuff and just yeah. the whole street every every electronic screen was kobe yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. and it was just like this where, is what real. kind of matrix yeah, yeah that, that's <laughs> fucking know? crazy yeah um you know going back to your music the last single you put out uh I believe so was say something mm-hmm. which you released last year in 2021 mm-hmm. like are we gonna expect some new shit this coming year or are you still yeah. you working on some stuff so even even in that i, I released that like shout out to my boy royce mm-hmm. uh he wanted he just hit me up like hey i want to do let's do a visual a visual mm-hmm. i think that we should just do it and i was like okay but i've been working on like mm-hmm. uh, a few things a few projects music being one of them um so i've got a an album, two albums actually, two albums worth of music with my boy David Phelps. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, and we've been, me and him have just been, he's been coming to my house again. Mm-hmm. I have the whole studio at the crib just like you. Nice. And, and you know, just a whole vibe, everything yeah. we need yeah. to get it. Yeah, right, 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 right. Exactly. And he's allowed me the space and freedom and creativity to, you know, he's in, inserted his his creativity into my, into my story, mm-hmm. writing, producing, everything. And we've been creating a... Uh, a very eclectic piece of piece of a group of group of songs, but yeah. a piece of piece of content and, and music for everybody. And it has nothing to do with anything everybody's listening to mm-hmm. today. Like mm. it's more so like okay. journey slash it's like old rock, like rock slash. Yeah. It's just what I like. It's Michael yeah. Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Right, it's really yeah. Michael Jackson. When you listen to Michael Jackson, you don't put him in a category, even though he's Facts. the king of pop. Right, right. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, yeah. every song is like, Work, it's like different instruments. You know it is. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, whatever yeah. he wanted to do. Yes, so the, right. this this next piece of these next pieces of songs I'm about to drop is exactly what I wanted to do. And my boy David Phelps helped me and crafted the whole sound to make it possible so that I'm actually singing songs I want to sing, singing, so, singing content I want to sing about, yeah. and not really caring about the music side because it's not really that's mm-hmm. why I've taken myself out of a artist form because like the stuff that I do musically it's cool but there's so much like beyond it so past the music stuff I'm doing an animated uh, yeah. film like yeah. an animated feature yeah. thing that I'm trying to do and I have no idea what I'm doing mm-hmm. but I'm right. doing it Yeah, you know and mm-hmm. Michael Jackson had Moonwalker right? Mm-hmm. right Prince had Purple Rain Yeah, I'm a nerd 
I want my own anime, like yeah. my yeah. own character, my own yeah. Spider-Man, my own yeah. like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And his name is Jay Rocket. Hey, that's yeah, Jay that's Rocket. Fire. You know? We're, we're go. gonna talk about that. We're yeah. gonna you know? and I I like how you mentioned Moonwalker because mm -hmm. that's a film. Honestly, if you don't know Moonwalker, you ain't. A You're real MJ fan. Living, yeah, right. you, you ain't a real MJ fan out there. Like, Savani? <laughs> <laughs> You're no, not an MJ fan. Honestly, yeah, I, I had to introduce, you know, my girlfriend to Moonwalker because I bought that Blu-ray, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. I, I show, you know, that's where the original, like, Smooth Criminal came on mm -hmm. and, you know, all the short films and, mm -hmm. you know, Leave Me Alone and all that. Like, mm -hmm. man, Moonwalker. Speed Demon? Yeah, Speed Demon, mm -hmm. man. The Bunny? Yes. <laughs> bro, yes. the Bunny is why I quit, like, I, bro, the Bunny is why I do animation. Yes. I was like, okay. dude, I want to... Have that moment. Yeah, have that moment. I want to dance with somebody that's not, that's me, but yeah. not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm a, me and Jay Rock are about to have a battle in the future. You know? so, yeah, that's fire. That's fire. We expect it. That's yeah, fire. For sure. So I want to dive a little bit deeper into your most recent song, Say Something, mm, which caught me by, by surprise because it was really different than anything you've released before mm -hmm. that. You know, it was no beat, straight vocals, harmony. Mm -hmm. um, what inspired you to go to that route? It definitely had that like MJ vibe without you even telling me like you're really inspired yeah. by MJ. Right on. That song was done by me and my sister, actually, my sister Brandy. Okay. She's, like eight, dope. she's eight years older than me and we, we did that song like so many years ago. Oh, really? Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? Like so many years ago, but I've I've, I've, I've worked on it and re-sang it and did all the stuff, you know? Right. And, but that song, what I, what I wanted to do with that song was put that out there to just let everybody know like the fact there's no music and just all vocals yeah right just let everybody know i'm not playing and i'm yeah. like if you ever want to search me or anything right. that's what you're going to find and i'm coming you know yeah, what i'm saying right, and, I'm, yeah. and i'm going to give you exactly what i think that it is that you will not even because i'm not doing it for anybody else yeah, really right. but I, i'm doing it so you can understand me mm -hmm. so, right. th so that is a part of that it, yeah. it, uh, as well so it's just vocals it's just me it's overbearing so it's a it's a it's a play to be like guys i know i'm not doing what you guys think i should be doing as far as mm -hmm. releasing things and yeah. doing all these things but this is what i'm capable of yeah don't worry yeah. like i know what <laughs> yeah, i've got yeah. i know what exactly. tools i have i know mm -hmm. what i'm capable of right don't worry yeah. yeah listen to this understand that it's bigger than yeah just putting out music yeah, yeah. and it really mm -hmm. showed like your range yeah no you like know? the harmonies sure. on there were crazy Thank like you, you killed it, it on that song bro Thank like you. yeah congrats on that one Thank and you. that's why i said you know i'm i'm definitely excited to you know hear what you got coming mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. that's you know you're sparking the, the flame right no, there with that sure. track mm -hmm. and yeah, bigger things are coming and for sure, just, and that's just there for the you know I know how the world works. It's yeah. just there in the ocean, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. You know, exactly. You know, exactly. It, yeah. With yeah. everybody else's shit, you know yep. what I'm saying? Exactly. So, <clears throat> yeah. So, but I, and I just want to be able to build my island on the ocean if that yeah, makes exactly. sense. No facts. That makes you know, sense. Yeah. Before I start fishing and start, yeah, no, start sure. throwing cast, casting yeah. out the lines and yeah. shit. You know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're taking it in the right step and that right direction. You really care about mm -hmm. your artistry. And again, I tell I tone it to growing up in Los Angeles and see and watching. Right. I've seen so many people release songs, bro, throughout the years, mm -hmm. and they're still wherever they're at. Yeah, we're exactly. Yep. So I yep. know there's something else. Yeah, you right. know exactly. There's something exactly. More. There's a, there's a structure behind it. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a there's an energy that yeah. has to happen before. Right. You know, or yeah. during, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So yep. I'm just no. watching. Yeah, you know, no, you're doing sure. a great job. Like mm -hmm. I said, just keep going that route because big things are going to come for you. you. I, I no, for sure. I yeah. It. And so we dove into a little bit deeper into your most recent track, but I want to talk about your most popular track. Um, uh, your song, My Bed, mm -hmm. did the most plays with almost <clears throat> over 50K listens. What do you mm -hmm. think contributed to that success? Um, Just, um, just again, at that time, I had just left my boy band and stuff. So okay. I, would, I had thought, you know, as a, as a human being, you go through trial and error. Right, so I right. thought during that time, releasing music was the thing I was supposed to be doing. So mm -hmm. during that time, I was just releasing music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, I haven't, there was like a three or four year gap between that and Say Something. Mm -hmm. Right, you right, know? Yeah. I think I think so. Yeah. I can't, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sounds about right. So, during, so I know that when I start releasing music, I know it's good enough to get played. Yeah. You know, or for people to respect it and listen to. Mm -hmm. So, right. I think the only difference between that time and maybe now is that that time I was putting out songs. That that was that was I put that on like an EP and stuff. I had like mm -hmm. an EP oh, really? during that okay. time. I had like 
four other six other songs or something like that. Yeah, that I was. I had a music video for another song called. So you right were now. consistent. Yeah, I was consistent. So I was rolling. So I, <laughs> so seeing that, I was like, okay, that's cool and all, but that's not what I want. Mm. Like I don't, I don't really care about the numbers. I want to get paid. I want to, you know, I want right, to. Right, right. Because I something pay, bigger. You know, I want, yeah. I want, I want, I want to have something. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, so yeah, bro. That that song, what was it? Uh, my bed. My bed. Yeah. yeah so my that, bed. but that song is sick though because it was, yeah. and that was also for the ladies. You totally forgot yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm past that now. I don't even remember that song. <laughs> that's how I am though too. Once it's out, I'm yeah. done with yeah. it. And, that, yeah, and that's yeah, why yeah. I I retain a lot too because yeah. I love it. Yeah. You know. But once it's right. out, I let it. You just like, let it go. live. Do you, do you ever go back to listen to some of your own so- old songs? Oh, bro, like that is. So when I said earlier, I only listen to myself, my dad, mm-hmm. Michael Jackson. Yeah. Like my friends used to make fun of me in high school. Like, like they used to look at my. You remember the iTunes and the play count was a thing. Right, like, yeah, right. They'd be like, bro, why are you listening to yourself twenty thousand times? I'm like, damn. And, like, and Michael Jackson, like, what is going on? Like, well, do you listen to anything else? I'm yeah. like, no. Like, now you know it makes all the sense to yeah, me. Now I'm not yeah. crazy. I yeah. wasn't crazy. You know yeah, what I'm right, saying? Right. So I feel like. Um, Yes, I do listen to myself a lot, mm-hmm. you know, and that's just to study to just because right, right. I'm always nitpicking the yeah. shit. Yeah. I'm always comparing the you're shit. You're a watcher. I'm a watcher. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll watcher. watch and I'll watch myself you before watch I watch. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Facts. bro, right? Facts. That's why when people's like, "Oh, worry about yourself," I'll be like, what? Yeah, <laughs> I, am. "I am. I am." Yeah, 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 I'm here yeah, talking yeah. to you about. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I wanna. Uh, I I got a question because like you did mention, you were in a boy band. Like, mm-hmm. how did that actually? How did you get into a boy band? Were you found? Did you guys just form it, or how did that all work? Shout out to them. Mm -hmm. Uh, Those are my my boys. Mm -hmm. Um, I was going to see Sun at the time, bro. Uh, I had just tried out for American Idol, didn't make it. Sang Uh, my ass off. mm. I got like uh, what what, year is this? Yeah, what year is that? Two thousand and eight. Two thousand. Oh Oh, damn, that's that's okay. That's a while ago. Two thousand and eight, bro. So and (laughs) and American Idol just came out around two thousand six. It was yeah, it was brand new, bro. It was popping. I was just in high school. Yeah, I just got out. I just got out. I was like, man, I'm not going to college. Well, this is before. Yeah, okay. I, before college, I was like, oh, I'm going. I did American Idol. I was like, I'm not uh-huh. going to college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You kidding yeah, yeah. me? I'm about yeah. to make it on American yeah. Idol. Yeah. 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 Right, right. Yeah. Bro, I watched yeah. a mime. Like, it's not what you think it is. It, I never mm-hmm. saw Paula. I never saw none of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was like the producers okay. yeah. in, in a big ass th- theater. Right, right, right. I watched mimes go up to the, the Golden Gates to go up to Paula and I. Mm-hmm. I watched like people in costumes and stuff. All these people like make it. And when it was my time, didn't make it, you yeah. know, and we had to sing four at a time, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. it was so heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Yeah. So, um, when, um, what was the question? The original question? Uh, uh, boy band. Like, how did you, yeah. you get into yeah. it? So then, so then didn't make that shit. So then went to school, started going to CSUN. I was like, fuck, all right, let me just go here, you know, do mm-hmm. something. Yeah. Do and I got this call one day, bro. And I've said no to groups my entire life. Mm-hmm. And I got, the, I'm, I'm at CSUN. I'm in college for the first time. All my friends already did it. So I'm like, and I'm, I'm in my own little apartment and everything. Yeah. My first time away from home. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I get this, I'm feeling good. So I yeah. get this call from this from, from this dude. And it's like, hey, uh, you ever thought about being in a boy band? I was like, in my head, I was like, oh, fuck no. You know, but I'm feeling so good. Right? Yeah, I'm right, like, right. So I'm like laughing in my head. I was like, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. I was like. <laughs> I, was like, uh, I was like, what? He yeah. was like, all right, cool. Be at this location in like 10 minutes. Can you be there? Uh-huh. And I was like. It's dude, dude named John John. Mm-hmm. Shout, shout out to John John. Sorry, John John. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a um, while. And he, he wanted me to go to this dude named Pete Farmer's house, bro. So uh, I'm a man of my word. Mm. I saw I, If I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to pull up. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, fuck. Look at the address. It was like 10 minutes away only. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, right great. down the street. I yeah. was like, Arr. Yeah, like, so you okay, had to go. Yeah. Had to go. So yeah. I pull up, meet this guy named Pete Farmer. He looks like Suge Knight, <laughs> oh, big shit. black dude. Damn. Like, and he was crazy. He used to be Suge Knight's like security and like oh, baby face, all this, all this yeah. stuff. Oh, great damn. guy. Yeah. Great guy. Okay, okay, nobody, nobody says great guy. <laughs> he gonna come for you. Yeah, no, he no, no. Don't I'm let serious. Come for That's you. my boy. No, okay, like, okay. Like he's scary and all that stuff, but <laughs> yeah. Like the scariest dudes, I make laugh. So yeah, yeah, yeah. shout out to Pete. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Like I'm not afraid of them because I know, I understand it. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. And I just want to be there That's for them. Because yeah, they yeah. need they need somebody to make them laugh too. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of you course, know, yeah. it can't be hard all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um 
so yeah, I go to this, I go to this guy's house, man, and he's like, I sing for him, do my thing. He was like, oh yeah, come back here in two hours. At the time, I'm working at In and Out Burger, mm -hmm. so I'm like, damn, mm -hmm. I got work in three hours. I'm like, mm, all right, cool. So I leave, I go home, come back. He was, he called the boys to come from Orange County. Yeah, mm. they came in. I'm, I'm there. They walk in, don't even really say hi. They start dancing and singing on the spot. <laughs> on I'm the like, spot. <laughs> all these white boys. I'm like, oh <laughs> shit. You know, and they're not all. They're all white. Yeah. But they have like, some of them are. They were multiracial, but they look. Yeah, they, yeah, were, they yeah. looked white. Yeah. When I joined the group, I was. They yeah. were all white. I was black. <laughs> <laughs> you stood so, out. It's all. Probably, that reminds yeah, me yeah. of Old Town. Do you remember exactly, Old Town? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. that guy. Yeah. So, so, um. They did their thing, bro, and I was like, "Oh, you guys are gonna be great," cause they were so polished and stuff. And you, I'm a, I'm an athlete, like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm buff as shit at this time. Like I'm not buff now, but I used to be like, <laughs> I used to be like just like just like thick. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm and I'm like, they're gonna be okay. They're gonna be great. I was like, I don't know if I could do this, but when things are challenging like that, I kind of like. That's Gravitate what I go towards, to. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's why like this J Rocket thing is yeah. scary. I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But I'm in there, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Right, right. So I was like, ooh, I, I don't know if I could do that. And I was like, hmm. Mm. You know, so that's how that started. Ended up going to rehearsals with them and being like trash. Mm -hmm. Like couldn't keep up, couldn't do nothing <laughs> yeah, at Millennium. Yeah. Like just totally defeated, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But You were the, dancing. Yeah, I was dancing. Yeah, dancing right. at Millennium. I'm trying. Yeah. Trying. Yeah. And I was like, I couldn't even, I wasn't even dancing because I was so like, Stuck because I'm also mm. a big thinker and watcher, right. so I'm just like overthinking. Yeah, yeah, bro. So I was like, oh, I'm out of my league. Yeah, right. And God sends their parents. Uh, shout out Val, Valerie, Zachariah. Shout out um, and um, damn, damn, damn. How you gonna do it? You like got alcohol. It's alcohol. Yeah, how you, you, you got it? it. Oh, School of Rock. Oh, what's his name? And Will's dad. <laughs> so, um. So yeah, those two parents put things into perspective for mm -hmm. me at that time. You know, having that older guidance mm -hmm. and that older energy, because and they, they knew their kids and they knew they knew they saw something to me. They saw order. Yeah. They saw like a like a like a balance. Mm -hmm. You know. So they knew that their kids needed somebody like me because their kids were wild. Yeah. Those boys were wild. Always been wild. Still gonna be wild. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So. They got in my head and they were like, just stay, man. Like yeah. you can do it. Like mm -hmm. and I was like, all right, cool. I'm gonna do it for them. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And ended up doing great in the group. Ended up getting to a certain level where I was mixing in and gelling in, mm -hmm. you know, not looking like I was too far behind to then yeah. being who full I am on, today. Yeah. You know, yeah. full yeah. on. So I'm I'm thankful for that group situation because it taught me I was able to be a watcher on a massive scale, bro. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like being in a group with four other guys, yeah. four other ideas. Yeah. Trying to put one thing together, mm -hmm. right? Lord, yeah, Lord, right. <laughs> hardest moments of my life. But again, most challenging and most fulfilling, and I have the most right. gratitude for it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's, what happened to still... the group? Like, why did you guys break yeah. up? And, yeah, you I know... bounced. So, oh, you did. I so you pulled the JT. I did. Yeah, <laughs> I, I did, but not even like that. And it wasn't oh, okay. because, okay. and it wasn't because I wanted to be JT. Right, right, right. I wanted to be Joey yeah. in a sense that. I left at a time where we had just got done doing a show at One Direction mm -hmm. in Spain. Oh, that's crazy! Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, so you opened up for them, or no? We did. A, we opened up the the. It was a Los Forty Principales. It's like their Grammys, mm -hmm. you know, the Latin American Grammys. Okay. Really? We opened oh, up wow. the entire show. Damn, that's crazy! Oh, yeah, shit. and like it was like because we had a number one uh, Spanish song out there. We, okay. I was singing in Spanish, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I was serious. Like, right. like we were doing cool shit. Mm -hmm. Like, just Damn. like it's big. Uh, like I couldn't like, bro. Yeah. That's why I know. Like, from, yeah. like I know. I know mm -hmm. for myself the things that can happen once the button is pressed. Yeah. So that button was pressed, and we were able to travel. So, um, what was the question? Sorry. Oh, what happened time. to the group? Like, why did you guys break up? So, work ethic. So I started. I'm a watcher mm -hmm. again. Right. You know, yeah. and I just had my daughter. You know, and stuff, and all these mm. things. So certain pressures that I was dealing with that they weren't dealing with, and which is which is I can I can understand yeah. right right you know because they weren't dealing with the things especially I was you said they were wild too not, yeah. Yeah, wild boys <laughs> wild, and not even super wild but they right. was wild t for, to me yeah like, you know what I'm saying? more than you yeah, yeah, you yeah. know t not even more than well, yeah more than me yeah, yeah, yeah. super more than me but yeah. Yeah. but I was there like, yeah, I, was, yeah, yeah. I was I was they was wild but I was yeah right, right, I was wild right. yeah, 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 yeah you know I wasn't no D yeah exactly so um so fucking uh. Work ethic, man. It was a, I was, it was a struggle to like like they were living their young American dream, mm -hmm. like, and I don't put it past them for how they 
were. Mm-hmm. But right, right. My You were in a different place. I was yeah. in a different place right, and right. I wanted more. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I was I was asking for more for more from them. <laughs> Gotta you gonna need a drink yeah. after that. I was asking more from them and I was asking more from everybody around that whole mm-hmm. shit. And I, mm-hmm. I realized that I had to dip. Yeah. Because what I was asking for, nobody was willing to give. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we had just got off tour from Spain, like a whole full Spanish tour, killing it. Mm-hmm. But nobody wanted to rehearse when we got home. Oh, you really? know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I, and I had, you know, I did a whole like. Th- I had a whole conniption. I, I fucking threw up the day I was going to tell them. Yeah. I was planning to tell them I was going to leave the group. I threw up like this black stuff, you guys. Oh, God. No. It's the crazy. It's like a that movie. That sounds like some alien shit. <laughs> no. I'm serious because I was really going through demons. Like, yeah. yeah. I swear, you guys. Like, it was yeah, that's crazy. weird. That's crazy. Yeah. I was yeah. throwing up this black shit. Yeah. You know? And yeah. it was just, I guess, because yeah. was the, it was the hardest because I love them. Mm-hmm. Right. And I know threw up a piece of your heart. Yeah, like, and, uh, I, and, yeah. I, and I and I and I know I knew in my head, and I, I'm not saying that they needed me at all. Yeah, yeah. But I wanted them to. I didn't want them to not have me. Yeah, if that, right, right. If yeah, that, no, that makes you sense. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, uh, you know, I know they're, they're you you're know, letting the team yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I knew I had to do that shit. Right. You know? right. So how did, how did they take it? And you told them. I don't think they really believed me at first. No, they mm. believed my ass because they knew they know me. They know me. <laughs> right, right. When and you say something. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But then they they also know my heart too. So mm. they know it was hard for me. You yeah, know? So right. they I think they gave it time for a little bit to think I was gonna come back and stuff, but I was mm. like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> I got like a regular job, bro. Like not even a regular job, like a below regular job, mm-hmm. like mm. just like at some like place. Shout out to Windows and Things. Mm. It's this place, this random ass place I found on Craigslist during mm-hmm. that time because I just want to stay low. <laughs> oh, really? yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But bro, like I had really started all over after that, bro. Damn, mm-hmm. damn, you know that's what I'm crazy. Saying? From the yeah. bottom, like, yeah, yeah, with the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I mean, look where it made man, you who you are yeah. now. Feel me? Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. real. Like for everybody sure. out there, man, do what you think is best for you. Facts. Like, even yeah. no matter what it looks like, it's gonna look crazy. Even yep. if you have right. four kids, bro, <laughs> do that shit, bro. Because right. at the end of it all, once once the time once time happens. Once time does its thing, you'll be in a place where you're thankful that you made the choices early instead of holding on to like these doubts. Mm-hmm. You know, just make the choice. Like these guys right here, yeah. they were telling me they moved out here from Seattle just mm-hmm. wanting to do it. And now they're here in this cool ass environment in LA doing their thing, working and moving. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We but it's all you, because bro. of a Thank choice you. Yeah. Right. that you could have not made. Yeah. Facts. One choice. Mm-hmm. One of yeah, the yeah. billions of choices you had to make. Facts. Just brush it. Do I brush my teeth right now? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm going to do it in five minutes. Like, yeah, that's yeah, a choice. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, it so, is. Yeah. But that one choice that yeah. y'all made, yep. have y'all here and yeah. have me here. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. You made it worth it. Yeah, yeah. You know? exactly. And so yeah. leaving that group, bro, as pretty as it looked, nobody, everybody thought it was crazy. Right, right. You know, like, mm-hmm. what are you doing, bro? Like, yeah. don't leave the group. Like, exactly. Nah, I'm out. Yeah. Lock this bitch. Yeah. yeah. You know, but then I was able to find my find out who I really was and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. We interrupt this episode with a word from our sponsor. Are you a gamer and looking to amp up your gaming setup? Then we've got an amazing gaming brand for you. Tilted Nation strives to get their customers involved with their development process of new products in order to establish a personal connection and not to mention truly optimized products for the gaming community. They want to go beyond developing amazing products and to lead the gaming community into a united community that works together. A community that pushes gaming essentials to unimaginable heights. They've hooked us up with amazing gear such as this gaming headset stand, mouse pads, and this awesome laptop RGB stand right below my laptop. And now they're hooking you guys up. Use the discount code Artistry Drop on their website, link below, and receive a 15% discount. Now back to the show. I want to dive a little bit deeper into like your music now. Mm-hmm. You know, two of my favorite songs that you released was My Bed and Right Now, which mm-hmm. had that like sexy mm-hmm. R&B love making music. You know, I noticed you haven't released a song like that in a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you plan on releasing more like that since, you know, it did contribute to your success or like you are on a whole different other path? Though? I'm definitely on a whole different path right mm-hmm. now because like uh, I'm not saying R&B is never going to be dead or anything, but it is. Right. It's just, there's just, I've done R and B in my head for like in my life for so long yeah. before this that I've now like evolved into mm. a new space, mm-hmm. and I have to like strike while the getting is good. Like I can definitely continue yeah. to still do R and B songs. Right, I right. can do that any day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But these other songs are like like when I met D- David Phelps again. Right. <clears throat> David Phelps. <laughs> <laughs> David 
<laughs> Phelps. We need a David Phelps counter because yeah, he yeah, gets in so many Dude, times. No, <laughs> he's got sin. God sin, bro. Yeah, I yeah. prayed for the, a guy like him. And, you yeah. know, so when I met him, dog, he played this song. He, he, he's such a genius that I met him randomly. He came into the studio looking for a lighter or something. Mm -hmm. And then he just walked past me and he was like, excuse me, do you sing in a C sharp something, something? I was like... The fuck? <laughs> I was like, uh, I don't know. Uh, probably. You know what I'm saying? He was, and I played him a song. He was like, yeah, that's the key. He was like, he was, then he played me this song, bro. It's the most beautiful song mm -hmm. that I've ever sang and that I've ever even heard, really. Mm, right. It's, uh, I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> uh, and we recorded it that moment. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's crazy. That moment. Mm. And <clears throat> in that moment, it was like, and it, it's got like such a like oldies slash vintage just music mm -hmm. and he's a musical god like mm. like david he does yeah. that he does it all and he's got a great musical cast of friends and family um but when he played me that song it opened my horizon my, my horizons for what's what else is out there because mm -hmm. i just and I, I wasn't really doing music at that time too so or i was only doing r&b music so right. when i sang that shit and i was just like oh and i would and, and it it's just inex inexplainable. And then the music after that just evolved. Because then I realized he was a Michael Jackson fan just like me. He's mm -hmm. from where we're from. And he's like, we call ourselves Michael's children, MJ's children. <laughs> <laughs> MJ's children. <laughs> yeah. I got to call myself yeah, that yeah, yeah. Children, bro. <laughs> That's the club. We're going to make a, I'm gonna make oh, a t shirt. Yes, yes. So, so, yeah, bro. Like, once I figured out, once, he, once I knew that this was my Quincy Jones, mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, oh. And he's, a, and, and, and he's allowed me to, and he's played me music. Like he, and he's like, I'm telling you, yeah. he's allowed the space to be fully creative. Yeah. Mm. And that has driven me away from the R and B sound. Right, right. Because as much as I love R and B, there's so much other, like, bro, I love Bollywood and shit. There's so much right, other music yeah. out there, yeah. no, for sure. you know, that I want to be a part of. And mm -hmm. I want to, I want to evoke out of me. I want to see if I can, if it, if it can, come out of come me out, you know yeah. what i'm saying so yeah. yes there would be an r&b time again because it's so easy and am i just you know and, and i have r&b songs that yeah. nobody's ever heard yeah but i am gearing up for this other stuff right, right. you know that i've that i've uh you know been sprinkling out there a yeah. little here and there but this other stuff is so like it's like real music david right. is a real musician his friends are real musicians mm. and I, even though I don't play an instrument, my voice is my instrument. And I'm a real musician. Like right, right. again, would say something that mm -hmm. that was my my billboard yeah, for yeah, yeah. what I can do, right, right. top to bottom, in the middle, and all in between, make yeah. it sound like gel. Yeah, right, right, you know? exactly. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we're excited, that's, man. Yeah. This is a whole new era for you, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's I feel like that's what you need to do to get to that next level is go out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. and really test yourself of like what you could do and go away bro yeah, yeah exactly don't be afraid to go away yeah go in your fucking cave don't talk to nobody <laughs> don't let anybody know what you're really doing but work yeah <laughs> work your ass yep. off Facts. work like everybody's watching exactly yeah, yeah. exactly you know the entire time yeah you're exactly. right and then when you drop don't expect to blow up just drop yeah just drop just it. do your thing yeah believe in it be you yeah yes. believe drop Exactly. <laughs> you know facts facts yeah facts. so going back to your music like i know you you only re actually you only release two music videos which are say something and right now mm -hmm. uh, did you ar archive a lot of stuff for like rebanding purposes and like what, what as far as music reason? videos no no okay I don't, I, as far as music videos no my archives right now are just my animation and like okay because that whole thing bro when you watch your favorite cartoons or your favorite marvel movies you see that credits list right oh yeah, yeah for sure it's like fucking 12, 15 minutes worth of yeah. credits. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm doing it with me, my boy Q Disney, my boy Jesse, my boy Royce, and a few, my boy Miguel, Miguel Wilson, and the team is growing. Yeah. But I'm mm -hmm. handpicking these certain, like, at these certain um, resources and tools mm -hmm. to build my own Marvel. Yeah. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. So, again, what was the question? Oh, um, uh, you released two different songs, or only two archives. music videos, archives. archives. Yeah. So yeah, all my archives is just like uh, animated art, art concepts, yeah, like all this stuff from my animated yeah. uh, film and stuff. Right, so right. as far as music videos and stuff go, oh, but the reason for it is all of the music that I'm doing right now is going to be incorporated in the world that I'm creating for J Rocket. 
yeah. just like Moonwalker. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It's like, like we got sm- Speed Demon. Yep. And yeah. we saw fucking the bunny. Yeah. You know, right. escaping from the thing. That's yep. a random as hell. It is. But it's Michael's world. It is. Right. So it is. that. So I'm trying to build the world. I, you know, yeah. I've already got the music. Right. Now I'm trying to build the world. Yeah. Build the experience. So the animation dope. series that you're <clears throat> making is going to be the music video for your music. It's almost. gonna be the world. It's gonna be yeah. the presentation for my music. Mm-hmm. Like everybody's gonna see J Rocket experience this new world, but the the sonics that they're gonna hear is the music. Yeah. That's dope. You know, and that's, that is dope. Yeah. And I don't know what I'm doing. Like, yeah. Once again, but I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah. you are doing it. You are. <laughs> so yeah. I was looking at your music videos. You know, comparing the two videos, you definitely had a lot of growth and changes. Mm. You know, not only in your music, but also the way you look and the way you dress. Like back then, you had like the pretty boy swag mm-hmm. with the blazer, gold chain, <laughs> buzz cut, fade. Yeah. yeah. Now you're more laid back, subtle, mm-hmm. long hair. You know, subtle attire. Like what changed for you, like both musically and like on a personal level. Again, coming out of that boy band, man, I was like in the zone. I was in show business, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I was like, everything I had to do, like, and that's what I was trained to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Shout out to my boy Paris Dijon. He was our manager. Shout out to Paris, Bert, Hubie. Hey. Those were our, my, my parents on yeah. tour, man. The people that kept me, held me down, man. Hey. And Steve. What the <laughs> fuck? How can I forget Steve? <laughs> so, uh, Steve Stein, make some noise. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I've, I've I've been able to just grow as a as an adult as a human, mm. bro. Like I've I've been a dad all the, yeah. all those times since I, my daughter was in that right now music video. Oh, she yeah. she was like you know a little feature, a little little Easter egg, cameo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. you know, a little cameo, and mm-hmm. you know just life, bro. Like uh, life has has evolved since then. So I feel like being an LA native, bro. I, I've seen a lot of people stay the same. Mm-hmm. Of course, yeah. Legit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Same niggas from high. I mean, same people from high school. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's cool, bro. Sorry, Let yeah. it out. Let good, it out. Sorry. Good, good, yeah. good. Same people from yeah, high school, yeah. bro. Yeah. And that can't be me. Even yeah. though I'm from here, even though I'm, I, I grew up right next to them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That can't right. be me. So, um, the hair thing. Shout out to my daughter. Uh, she mm. told me her beautiful hair was from her mom, and I was trying to explain mm. to her that it was from me. <laughs> Color, grade, all of it. Uh-huh. She was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> and again, I had the buzz, I had all stuff. Yeah. I said, all right, little punk. <laughs> I'm going to grow my hair out and, yeah. and watch. Mm-hmm. Here I am. Yeah, I'm going to show you what real hair looks shout like. Out to, <laughs> shout out to Isabella, because I love long hair now, because mm-hmm. it's like it's different. It's like, yeah. I really just got to wake up and be chill and not have to do much. Like, yeah. with short hair, mm-hmm. you have to get a haircut all you the do, time. Yeah. Do all this new shit. Now I'm in my zone. I'm in my bag to be able to just like chill. Yeah. Be right. creative. Be like, let my hair grow. Yeah. You know, let, uh-huh. you know, it's like in hair and like, I feel like, you know, Samson, the story of Samson. No, I don't. The story of yeah. Samson is like, he was a guy who had long hair. His, his strength was in his hair. Oh, really? So he okay. met this girl, she cut his hair off and he lost all his strength. Oh, oh damn, that's don't crazy. Don't trust these girls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, but I'm in my, I'm in my, Sam. I feel like I'm in my Sam. I feel like yeah. I'm in my mm. Samson moment. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? My strong, my, my strength yeah. moment. You know, so, um, yeah, the growth from right now to say something again, right now is me trying to prove something really like me mm. being like, Oh, I, now here I am as a solo artist. I have to put something out right, right. where I say something was like, yeah, I guess, I yeah. guess I'll put something out. If, you know, I didn't get no real haircut, no nothing. Yeah. Right, right. I was like, I'll put something out, but I'm a sing on it. You know what I mean? You know, right. I'm a sing. you know, yeah. it's going to be a song that they're going to hear. And it's going to be some singing. So, mm-hmm. right. Right now, I'm not really trying. Like I, even now, I'm not trying to be an artist, bro. I'm trying to be like the John Faravo of the shit, the the Stan Lee of the yeah. shit. You know mm, what I'm saying? Like mm. the the Jamie Fox of the shit behind the scenes. Jamie John Favreau is killing it right John now. John Favreau, no, he's he fucking killing I it. I found out in the pandemic who John. Favreau, I mean, I knew who he was yeah, the whole yeah, time yeah. as the funny actor comedian yeah. guy. I did yeah, not yeah. know who he really was. Yeah, like mm-hmm. he. Bro, like as a director, he is fucking killing it with all these new. Like I don't know if you heard about the new show he dropped, a uh, prehistoric. Uh, fuck, it, it's on Apple Plus, but that shit is what? fucking amazing. Prehistoric what? Prehistoric is it about world? dinosaurs. Yeah, he got one about dinosaurs. Bro, he literally, I, me and my girlfriend were were watching <clears throat> it, and this shit is fucking crazy. He literally brought dinosaurs to life through, like real looking CGI. It's amazing. That's crazy. It's almost like Lion King. Remember, he did Lion King as well. Again. Damn. He's doing whatever he wants to do. Exactly. And he doesn't care. Yeah. 
Right. He's doing it. Yeah. He was the funny guy. Like, I swear I thought he was on just Iron a funny Man guy. On Iron Man, too, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Even before Iron Man, yeah. even all the movies, he was with, like, uh, He was on uh, The Replacements. The Replacements. Do you remember The Replacements? That, he, even before yeah. that, he was, what, 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 he was Ben Stiller a lot? What was it? Yeah. Who is, who, who what, what, there's some movies he, where he was just a side in, character, yeah, 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 but exactly. hilarious. He's yes, just like yes, the drug, yes. funny dad, yep. you know, Yeah. and I always thought of him like that. Yeah. But what? You know what I'm saying? Do everything. Yes. Do Facts, everything. Exactly. You can do it all. Yeah. And how do you go from Elf to Jungle Book to Lion King to Marvel? Yeah. Like those are it's all crazy. different categories. Yeah, it's crazy. To dinosaurs. Yeah. This bro. man eating. Mandalorian. Yeah. Yes. Man Mandalorian. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking crazy. He's been killing it. Like I said. Like. <laughs> I was so jealous, bro. I could cry, bro. Like, yeah. He's tight, man. No, he yeah. is. You know. That's yeah. gonna be you. No, that I'm, man. That's gonna that, be you that for sure. Be. Yeah. So like here on the Artist you Drop, we want to bring something new and exciting mm-hmm. to the show. So today we're gonna play a game called Artistry Roulette. Here is how the game is going to go. You're going to choose a number between 1 and 6. Each number will contain a random question which you only have 15 seconds to answer. Each second that goes over 15 seconds you will cost you a sip of that drink. Are you ready? I'm ready. You ready? Right. Are you sure? All right. Four. All right, so you got to choose a number between one and six. Four. Four? 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 Okay, go. Michael Jackson or Michael Prince? Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even hear of the whole course, question. Of course, of course. Like, I want to, I want to, hold on. Hold on, I want to go Jackson. into that. I want to go into that super quick just because <clears throat> only reason I put Prince yeah. is we ha- we actually had Andreo Heard okay. uh, on the show who produced mm-hmm. for MJ. And oh, I, 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 did you see I that him. episode? And he followed me, I think. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, he's a huge Prince fan, and I had a question. Like, mm. you produce for MJ, right. but you're also a big fan of Prince. Like, you know, which one? He, of course, he loves MJ, but he has to go with Prince, so. You know, of course, because he's a musician. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, he's yeah, a yeah, real-ass yeah. musician. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, he, yeah, under- he is. And I, and, and I understand what Prince does, too. Yeah. But I'm not Prince. <laughs> and I'm not Michael, either. But, bro. There's a certain, like, again, I don't want to be a musician. I want to be whatever I want to be. Facts. I want to be Captain EO. Michael Jackson <laughs> yeah. was Captain there EO, you go. bro. That's my costume yeah. this year. Bro. That's my costume this my, year. J-Rocket is Captain EO, bro. <laughs> yeah. Let's fucking like, go. Like, for real. Yes. Like, that's the yeah, only yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah, Let's fucking go. So, Michael Jackson was able to do, like, Prince is amazing. Let's start with Prince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prince is amazing. I, li- I love Prince. Mm-hmm. This little fucking thing right here that everybody says, oh, is that Prince? I'm like, no, that's me. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's me. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. so like I would love to play like Prince in a biopic and still, yeah. I would, I would, I would tear it up. I'll eat it up. Yeah. But Michael Jackson is to the world. Same thing as my like, Jesus Christ. Like, yeah, as, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like in, in, I feel like in, in, in a thousand years, the tale of Michael Jackson, bro. Like, think about it. The t- like, I feel like Jesus Christ was a real person. Mm-hmm. Right. It's been blown up a little mm-hmm. bit, probably. Like all the all the stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The tale of Michael Jackson is about to be so crazy in a thousand years mm-hmm. that they'll be like Jesus. Who? I mean, not really, but they'll be like Jesus, Michael. Or it'll be like Buddha, Jesus, Michael Jackson. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he'll be on that list, bro, because he because he did he went from black. To white, yes, yeah. They're yes. not. I still can't understand. Like as a yeah. kid, I didn't yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah. That, I didn't bro. understand either. I th- and I thought that the Michael Jackson I was watching was the recent Michael Jackson. Yeah. Where the recent Michael Jackson was the when I was six and four when I was Michael Jackson crazed, he was already like in trial and stuff. But mm-hmm. I didn't know. Yeah, like, right, right. I I thought he was right. Thriller. I thought he was yeah. bad all in one. Like I'm yeah. just intaking all this information. Yeah, right. They're not gonna understand that later. Yeah, they'll be like, what? He did yeah. what? That's yeah. the same guy. Mm-hmm. How? Well, exactly. nobody else has done that. Yeah. That's exactly, weird. Exactly. And I'm not condoning changing your shit, but there's a special thing. He did whatever he wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Right. He into the fullest. So yeah. it's got to be Michael Jackson for me because he is he's the ultimate fearless uh, artist. Like yeah. or just mm. all worldwide artists like Facts. visual singing sonics all exactly. that yeah. you know you're, yeah. you're gonna have to take a drink of that because that is longer than yeah, 15 seconds long. even though I want oh, to yeah. damn yeah. <laughs> <laughs> alright we might have to take two sips that, that was like a whole another one from one to six <laughs> but you already chose four so yeah we're good I mean that's the only one that matters right. <laughs> seven. Oh wait sorry six. One, to one to six that's my favorite number <laughs> there three. No seven. three uh, would you have would you rather have more time or more money and why timer starts now more time 
because with more time, I can make more money. Facts. Mm. That is true. That is true. That is facts. That All is right. True. You passed that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So next question. Um, or no. Or ne- next, yeah, next, next number. number. Two. Two. Power line or max? Timer <laughs> starts now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> power line. There you go. There Why? You go. Because power line is Michael Jackson. Even though power line is Bobby Brown. Power line is Michael Jackson. That's why. That, that is Ooh, true. Ooh, yeah, 12 yeah, yeah. seconds. You that just got the cuss. You, you almost got there, mm-hmm. y'all. Yeah. All, right, All right, next number. One. One. Favorite anime and why? Timer starts now. I just started watching One Piece all over again, so I'm going to say One Piece, even though it's not my favorite anime, but it's cracking, and I started watching that shit all over again. But why? Because I just started watching it all over again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're playing it safe. <laughs> 12 seconds. All, all right. right. All right. Good. Five or six? Six. All right. Since you were born and raised here in L.A., where would be the only place uh, that you would actually move and feel content with? Timer starts now. Spain. I spent six months in Spain with the group. The Span- I'm Spanish. Like The mm-hmm. reason I'm light-skinned is because of Spain. Mm-hmm. Um, beautiful place. Beautiful people. I love it there. Great energy. Dope. 12 seconds. Dope. Whew. All right. And then last close. one. Five. <clears throat> um, if you had the power to go back in time but didn't have the power to come back into present day, what memory would you re- revisit and why? Timer starts now. I would revisit the moment my beloved Aunt Rocks raised my hand and forced me to go on stage with Raven Simone. And instead of crying and not doing anything, I would perform and do my thing. But why? Because, well, no, wait. wait. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, 15 seconds. Let me explain this, though. Let me yeah, explain, yeah, yeah, explain, yeah, explain, explain it. Explain yeah. it. Yeah. Sounds like a good story. Yeah. Mm. I don't want to change that moment at all. Yeah. I just I just thought about my Aunt Rox and that. So that so my Aunt Rox is the re- real reason why I'm here. Mm-hmm. Like doing, like being a dreamer and not mm-hmm. letting, like, being, being living in L.A. And, le- and allowing my dream to succeed. I've seen dreams crash and mm-hmm. burn. I bet. Yeah. I've seen them soar. Yeah. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Sore. Yeah. Sore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when I was young, when I was like nine or something, bro, like we went to this concert at the mall. We went to this concert at the mall and Raven Simone, you know Raven? That's a Raven. That's yeah, a Raven. Of course. She was a of rapper course. artist at that yeah. time. Ray, really? Ray, okay. Ray, Ray Raven. Yeah. Ray, Ray yeah. Raven, bro. And she was doing her thing and she was, she was a moment in her show where she asked people to come up and participate. She was asking for three people. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm a watcher. Yeah. Bro, I'm a watcher. Mm, yeah. I, I remember being like, oh, wow, three, <laughs> three people are going to go up. Yeah. My aunt rocks, dude. Grab my hand and forced it up like this. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, stop. Yeah. yeah. This motherfucker, Raven, picked me. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It was a sea of people. Like, yeah. she's like, you. Were you from Ro? No. Oh, I'm shit. I'm in the, I'm like, I'm like, it's impossible yeah. that she's picking me. And I'm oh, like, yeah. when she's like, you, and I'm like, and Rox is like, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> and, you know, and I'm like, no, she's not talking about me. And she's like, no, you, with the, the, whatever I was wearing. I was like, and Rox was like, come on, Joe. <laughs> and meanwhile, I, I performed so many times for my aunt Rox, bro. Mm. She mm. knows what she knows at that time when I'm capable of. Yeah. Mm. She knows I've done Michael Jackson's man. She knows mm. the only problem is I didn't know. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I get up there, bro. It's me, this black kid, and this white girl. Mm-hmm. Right. I remember it so vividly. I remember her faces too. I remember that white girl. She was mm-hmm. getting it too. Like she wasn't getting it, but she was she was trying. <laughs> so it was like a dance competition or yeah. something, right? Okay. And the black the, the white girl goes, she's like doing her thing and she's like, you know, doing this at the time. I think that was the move. Yeah. Yeah. Black dude goes, he's like doing all the cool stuff. You yeah. know, my turn, I just sit there and cry, bro, in front of everybody, bro. Oh shit. Not doing nothing, just mm. uh, like just like because I'm like I couldn't help, I couldn't handle it. You weren't uh, ready. The pressure, I yeah, was not yeah. ready, bro. Mm. And like they got, you know, they're like, all right, cool, whatever. And they gave us, they started giving out like uh, awards and stuff and prizes and stuff. Like like a first place, we got you're going to the show tonight, blah blah blah. Second yeah. place, you're getting the CD sign CD, the, and you, Joey, you're getting a towel. <laughs> To Damn. wipe your tears. Oh Damn. shit! Like I, I, she probably didn't say that, but I think she did, bro. Like Damn, that, that's, that's crazy. How I and, and I <laughs> thank her for that, like, yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, "Here, here's a towel for your tears, or something mm-hmm. like that." Like yeah. next time, like, like something, something crazy, bro. Yeah, and I was yeah, so yeah. embarrassed. Yeah, right. that is. Fucking I was crazy. like, <laughs> like inside <laughs> my spirit, I was like, and I, I was so mad at my Aunt Rocks back then, bro. Mm-hmm. I grew up, bro. 
that was the best thing that ever happened to me. Never, ever, ever have I ever been afraid to go on mm. stage ever. After that. After yeah. that. Like, my dad t- s- says that I have cold blood. Mm. Like, he was like, bro, I don't even, and he's performed so many times. He was like, yeah. bro, you have, like, the coldest, like, you don't care. And it's because of that moment, bro. Yeah. Mm. And I, I made a vow to never be afraid ever again. And, like, with things like my daughter now, bro, like, my daughter is... It's it's transferred through my through my uh, manly juices to 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 her because to, to she is she has no fear yeah you know what I'm saying she has zero fear and like it's like inspiring to me I'm like oh shit I wish I had that as a kid mm-hmm. right. you know just and seeing where that could take her so yeah. I would not want to change that moment at all. So that answer was wrong. I'll take another sip. Yeah. <laughs> that's it really, dope, it really shaped that, me. That, no, that's, that's still dope. dope. Yeah. That, that, that's a dope story because mm-hmm. it shows, you know, something from the negative, but now to the positive. Oh, yeah. Right, you know, right. and you changed a whole lot after that experience, mm-hmm. which is exactly. dope. So, you know, you you know what you went through and you know where you're at now and what mm-hmm. it took. So mm-hmm. my next Props time, you, my bro. next time going on stage was Mandalay Bay. Uh, oh, open, that's dope. Opening up for Backstreet Boys and New Kids on the Block with oh, the shit. boy band. Oh, that's Our dope. Our first yeah. show. That's dope. That is our first show. Yeah, Yeah. that's big. Our first show. Yeah, that's fucking big. (laughs) I was like, oh, I couldn't believe it. But all I could think about was that moment. Like I was like, yeah, we back in this thing. Yeah, and I couldn't. I didn't remember anything that happened, and I was off the stage just like that. And I was like, oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, I was like, that's it. And then I was addicted. Like you know, so yeah. No, that's dope, bro. Uh, so okay, back. You know, jumping back in. You know, we you have talked about it quite a bit, and uh, J Rocket. Mm -hmm. Uh, the question I do have is like, how did the whole J Rocket and animation thing, uh, actually come about? Like we assume you're a big anime fan or, mm-hmm. you know, into animation. Is that the reason why, or it's a couple of things. It's animation. It's anime. It's, um, being a child still, I'm still childish as ever. Like mm-hmm. I'm a kid, bro. And I'll probably try to be a kid for a long time. Yeah. Mm. Forever. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And like, you know, there's certain dreams and certain thoughts we used to have, or, you know, it's like, I still have them. And I understand that some of them I have to, retain again yeah but there's certain thoughts and i and having a daughter having my kid Mm -hmm. i see where they're where her brain is how creative and how creative her brain is right right and there's certain like thoughts i remember having as a kid that could be thrown away as like ah that's just you're 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 a superhero yeah yeah what are you talking (laughs) about you're not a superhero you're a human Uh uh-huh you know you live with everyone else but like that's how it kind of came about um that plus Michael Jackson, Captain Neo, yeah. Powerline, like I'm addicted to these things. Like mm-hmm. these are the, these things shape me. Like yeah. Captain Neo, Powerline for sure, Goofy movie. Yeah. Like I wanted to be able to express myself in those ways. I want people the way I feel about Powerline. I want people to feel about something that I have or yeah. am. The way people feel about Michael, the way mm-hmm. I feel about Michael Jackson, I want people to feel about something I am. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And and so on. So J Rocket, man, I swear, like it just happened, bro. Like I knew I needed something else as far as being an artist. I knew I didn't want to just be Joey Diggs Jr. Mm-hmm. Especially like being Joey Diggs Jr., like, I know I've talked about my dad a lot. We don't have the Kool-Aid best Kool-Aid, man. Yeah. 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 Coca-Cola. 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 I said Kool-Aid. The drink is getting to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the Kool-Aid yeah. drink. The Kool-Aid. Yeah. You know, we don't have the best relationship, bro, being a junior especially. Mm-hmm. So, like, I'm like, you know, just even that in itself is, yeah. like, kind of got a stain to it. Not for me, but just in general. Yeah. So, I knew I needed something else. Mm-hmm. So, J-Rocket was born. And, um... My daughter has helped with the storyline on that so much that it's it started help it started we started creating a world for ourselves yeah you know and and it just started building into this thing I just linked up with my boy Miguel Wilson shout out Miguel Wilson again and he helped me do the sketch work uh, of me you mm-hmm. know of my superhero what yeah. it would be and he loves Michael Jackson he yeah. loves Prince we mm. I only really put myself around people that understand what I'm trying to do. Yeah, yeah, if right. you don't understand the scale mm-hmm. of Michael, then you don't understand the scale of which we're trying to achieve. Right, right, you facts. know what I'm saying? Because that scale is like endless. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you're not on an endless scale, 
<laughs> we don't have much to talk about. I'm yeah. your friend. Yeah. Right, right. You know, but we don't got much to like do right. like yeah. with each other. Exactly. Like, you know, I can't spend too much time here. It's yeah. a dead end. You know, because I got to keep yeah. going. You, yeah, know? Right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a dead end yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to keep going. Yeah. You know, so uh, J Rocket just came out of me wanting more from myself mm-hmm. and being able to then see myself. Because again, it's hard to see yourself as a superhero. Yeah. You know, course, so I yeah. had to create like something else. Mm-hmm. I couldn't be like, yeah, this is Joey Diggs Jr., man. Yeah. <laughs> Joey yeah, Diggs yeah, Jr., yeah. man, man, man. <laughs> you know, so yeah. J Rocket was born, and the name I can't even. I was. It sounds dope, though. I was smoking yeah. some weed one time yeah, yeah. in my in my garage, and I was like, J Rocket. Yeah. J Rocket, and it's R O C K I T. Mm-hmm. You know, and I was doing right, rock right. at the time too yeah. with, with my boy David and stuff, mm-hmm. and I was like, man, I, I'm rocking out. Like, I'm yeah. like, this stuff I'm doing yeah, is yeah. like rock. I'm yeah, like, exactly. this is tight. You know, and I was like, J Rocket, Rocket, Joey, mm-hmm. Rocket, Joey, J Rocket. Right. Rocket. I was like, yeah. yeah. I was like, that's it. That's yeah. dope. You Not know, only yeah. is it catchy, but it's also like re- really kid friendly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The bro. whole world can. You can be oh, bro, I've got these. You know? I've got. I'm not gonna say their names. Cause I still got trademark all this shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and I'm not afraid or anything. I'm not. But still, the shit is so heat to me that I yeah. can't risk it. Yeah, yeah. right. No, you facts, know, facts, I was facts. talking to my animator about this before coming over here. He was like, "Hey, man, don't say their names." Yeah, yeah, you know, because yeah, because yeah. once. All right, so <laughs> I, I, I've got these characters that my boy Miguel has helped me uh, visualize. Mm-hmm. And shout out to Miguel and Jesse. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jesse's from Africa, actually, mm-hmm. too. Um, mm-hmm. He's this like great sculptor animator from you've seen his shit if you're on instagram and yeah. you like anime yeah. or anything anime oh, yeah. you've seen his stuff that's okay. dope you know and thank you jesse <laughs> uh, but we've created these characters dude that are that are going to like rip like trolls out of the water like you know like trolls the kid stuff or oh, like yeah. anything yeah. small and like it's the it's so cute. They're like they're cute, right. but the story is not cute. But yeah. right. they're cute. They're like they're like the imagine animation, gremlins yeah. but cuter. Yeah, yeah. Or or not gremlins what's animated that was like that uh the trolls yeah imagine yeah, trolls true. but yeah, yeah. An, its own thing right. and i've never seen them before right. you know like what we created i've never seen and i watch a lot of stuff i watch a lot of stuff i've yeah. never seen them before so mm-hmm. i'm gonna make plush dolls of these little creatures and the kids are going to eat them up yeah i yeah. promise yeah you know so yeah. that's 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 a big market too yeah. that toys is. movies yeah. like it, it's it's so big and yeah. what's crazy yeah. you know another reason how j rocket came the kids are what gravitated to my music the most like because mm. i play my music for people i'm around and stuff yeah. And yeah. the kids like i play my song one time i'd see these same kids like months later and they're mm-hmm. singing like every night i wake up and i'm okay. like <laughs> how are you doing this and yeah, they're like yeah, man right. can you play that song for me again and yeah. i'm like shout out braylon yeah. um, but like but there's other kids too but like um it was one you know I, was, I just realized i was like oh what i'm doing can be for the future like mm-hmm. i'm not really i'm not creating music for us right i'm creating like for the i, I want generation. i want I'm, i want the music i'm doing is the feeling i got when i was a kid i want yeah. to to do that yeah, yeah, yeah and i'm positive that the music that is out today is not giving these kids the same feeling that I got when I was mm. a kid. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So right. I know my audience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My audience isn't, even though everybody's going to appreciate it and like it, yeah. it's these kids, bro. Mm-hmm. It's these right. future kids. Yeah. They're going to hear this, these songs, hear these sonics, see these visuals, see these characters and stuff and be like, oh yeah, that's my Spider-Man. Right, mm-hmm. right. That's my T'Challa. That's my... Right. Star-Lord. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Right. That's my whatever. You yeah. know, right. fuck. Exactly. That's yeah. my J-Rocket. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So... That's dope. That's how, yeah, that's that how is it dope, bro. Yeah, they, yeah. It, it's definitely a dope uh, story on how you came up with, you mm-hmm. know, everything and how it relates to yourself personally, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. But going back to, like, you doing some acting and skits, mm-hmm. one thing I noticed, you're, like, friends with Josh Peck. I'm my boy. That, mm-hmm. That's crazy, you know? that. How did you and Josh actually, like, meet and started working together? Were you, like, a big fan of Drake and Josh and stuff like that? Ooh. or? So, look. Oh. No. Ooh. I've never <laughs> like I've never really watched Drake and Josh. Mm-hmm. Oh, just, were you friends like during that time? No. Oh, okay. We do, and he yeah, grew up okay. in the valley. He grew up down the street from me. I, that's oh, crazy. Like, really? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Life is crazy. Yeah. And uh-huh. if you just uh-huh. watch, if you stay still, things will happen. But I've always seen it. You know, I've, mm-hmm. I, I, I never really watched it. But yeah. I've all, you couldn't escape Drake and Josh. Right, right, right. No, you can't. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? But so I, I, I didn't watch yeah. Simpsons. Mm-hmm. Like oh, there's wow. a there's a there's a niche of things I just didn't yeah. partake in. Mm-hmm. Friends, I didn't watch not one episode mm-hmm. of that shit. I didn't you know watch what I'm saying? Either. So but I'm not saying I didn't like Drake and Josh. I just didn't watch that shit. Right. So I started after the group I started doing skits and stuff and my boy Dave Faris, I met up with him and me and him pretty much taught like he was a, a, a film film guy, a director, mm-hmm. and he was like, he just met up with me like, hey, I want to start. I see what you got going on, and 
I want to figure something out. Yeah, bro. I hold this guy around. Like we hold, we hold him around <laughs> and he start. we started doing videos with all these influencers mm-hmm. and bro, it went, it, we, I lit literally Dave Faris and myself molded the way people intake, like at least the comedy sketches mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because while everybody was doing iPhones and doing Vine and stuff, right. I brought Dave to these fuckers with a real camera, mm-hmm. with a real production, mm-hmm. and we started getting it cracking. Yeah, and mm-hmm. Dave blew the fuck up, mm-hmm. like blew up. Yeah, and he and all he did was come to me like, "Hey, I feel like you want to do some music shit," and I yeah. was like, "And I and again, being a watcher and not being somebody and knowing I didn't want to just be an artist right away. This was after and Dave shot right now. Mm-hmm. Dave mm-hmm. shot that music video for right now. Oh, that's right. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that's what we was on at first, but then yeah. I was like, "No, nah, man, there's something else here." You know what I'm saying? So we started shooting that shit, and everybody started being like, "Hey, you're, you, you Dave, you got Dave Freeze, right? Blah blah yeah. blah. Like, can we can we do something? Let's link. Let's." I'm like, mm-hmm. "All right, cool, 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 cool. Hey, blah yeah. blah blah." Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> that eventually got to Josh Peck. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dave introduced me to Josh. We started doing skits together and stuff. I told we, we ended up breaking bread right off the off the rip. Like, hey, I'm mm-hmm. from this. I grew up on Winneka. He's like, what Winneka? Yeah. He's like, I'm from Winneka. I was like, Winneka <laughs> Park, bro. He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, well, we're the same guy, you yeah. know. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, after yeah. that, that was, and then after that, it was like, and he and it was just surprise. And I think the fact that I did I didn't watch Drake and Josh probably helped because I really just treated him like you know yeah, like as a person. A, a, yeah. as a person. And, yeah. he, and him being a Valley kid, we mm-hmm. know exactly what time it is. Yeah, right. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like he treated me regular. I treated him regular. We yeah. was vibing and yeah, it's it, it, and it's cracking. Like that is dope. Yeah. You know, yeah. and and our and our comedic timing together was just cool. Yeah. You know. Right. And yeah. meanwhile, I'm like, I'm trying to assess myself. I'm like, this is a guy that people will have like watched mm-hmm. and he's done this so many times right. so i was like i'm kind of holding my weight yeah i was like okay yeah. yeah i was like this is cool i think i like this yeah, yeah i was yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. all the other stuff was cool but when i when i was when i'm in moments like that i'm like this is the real test yeah right you know so and the fact that he gravitated to it he, he still talks to me today like he's yeah. still te- like he's a great guy mm-hmm. we got kids yeah, yeah. now and yeah, stuff he's really nice yeah. real nice yeah. dude bro dude, yeah real he's from the valley That's yeah right. <laughs> from Winneka, you know what i'm saying yeah. he, you know so yeah man he's a great dude and seeing him like again i didn't watch the show yeah. but i know all the uh, I, I i followed all the stories yeah all yeah, the yeah. storylines and seeing where he's at like now i'm not saying yeah. he was in a bad place or anything but just not being aware of what's going on and then getting to know the guy now uh-huh. the guy now is so cool i'm like damn you made it through the fire because yeah. i've seen Facts. a lot of i don't know them but i've seen a lot of other people and a lot of other like, like just artists and like whether the actors or whatever they don't look so good now. They're not right. so good at in, on the inside. Yeah. But he's yeah. so good on the inside and right. on the outside, even better on the outside. Yeah. yeah. That it's like, oh, you a real dude. <laughs> yeah. You really from the valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you know? That's so, dope. That's took it to heart. Yeah. So like going off of those skits and stuff that you did, um, do you did you ever thought of like acting as a career or even incorporating it mm-hmm. into some of your music videos? Yeah. I mean, that's why I did J Rocket. Like, I know it's animated, but it's like live action slash um live action slash animated. So I've got like, mm. oh, like it's going to live in 2D, 3D, real D, all these things. All these. So, yeah, all these. <laughs> <laughs> all, all these, all these. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so but, uh, like I have never, like I know I, I have a lot to do. That's why yeah, I wish yeah. there was more time. That yeah. question earlier, mm. I wish there was more time. Mm, right. You know, and I'm, I have ADHD to where I, I think about so many things I end up getting nothing done some days. Yeah. You know, so it's like, you know, so, yeah. Yes, acting mm. is something I definitely want to do, um, and that's what I'm doing myself. Instead of trying to go act for somebody else, I'm acting my own shit. Mm. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to mm. I'm use myself as a test dummy. Yeah. I'm going to hire myself, mm. yeah. you right, know right. what I'm saying, and hire what I, the, the people I want. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Voice acting, visual acting, all yeah. that stuff. So, mm-hmm. like, again, I don't know what I'm doing with this J-Rocket thing, mm-hmm. but I'm doing it. Yeah. yeah. You know? And, and I, yeah. You're, you're killing it. Yeah, and you yeah. got all the yeah. pieces. I, I'm excited to actually see it when it, when it, yeah, when yeah, it yeah, drops. Yeah. I'll show you all some stuff. Yeah, no, definitely excited. We talked about it quite a bit, and... You're a huge Powerline fan, just oh, yeah. like I am. You know, I grew up with a goofy movie, and Powerline was just one of those characters I gravitated towards a mm. lot more. Um, I think it was uh, the the specific scene that whenever I watch it, I'm like, it's Max, you know, becoming <clears throat> Powerline, singing, you know, uh, at the beginning at stand school. Out. Stand out. Singing in the beginning, you know, and I was like, damn, this shit is actually really dope. So what about Powerline, like, do you like most, and what stood out to you the most, like, for you to gravitate towards him? I broke the VCR, bro, rewinding oh, shit, it so man. many times. Which part? 
I got in trouble. Uh, it was the the last part. This, okay. No, uh, wait. When it when the, when it broke, it was it was stand out. Stand out. Yeah, mm. that's my when favorite broke, part. When yeah, it yeah, broke. Yeah. Damn. But I, yeah. I, I I rewounded that thing so many times that mm-hmm. I broke the whole VCR. Damn, that's crazy. Big trouble. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys. <laughs> my dad's the original power line. Damn. Damn. You guys, I had the movie. I forgot. No, I didn't, I didn't forget, but I forgot that that part. Mm-hmm. I had the movie before everybody. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Oh, really? Damn. I had the movie before everybody. My dad, before Tevin Campbell, yeah. my Some, dad yeah. was the original power line. Are you? What? I heard the song For before. Real? Yes. Yeah. I'm not, not going to just say it. I've been saying this shit forever. Damn, but, that's crazy. You know, but he was the original power. I haven't done, Damn. also I haven't talked to anybody in a while. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but he, in, I got shout out to my dad, bro. He don't realize that I, he's my hero, bro. Yeah, shout out to Pops. So wait, did he crazy. write the songs? No, or he didn't write the songs. Okay. He's, he's the, he's, his voice, he, he's he was the, the one. original voice yeah. actor yeah. for it before Tevin Campbell mm-hmm. took yes. over. And yeah. his background, all the stuff, a lot of stuff that you hear is just my dad just redone. That's crazy. Oh, wow. So what, what happened go. though? What, uh, my dad did... took the money. He's he he still got paid for Powerline. Yeah, they yeah. were like, but Tevin Campbell had an album at that time yeah. that he was releasing. He was mm-hmm. like hot at the time, mm-hmm, right. and they said, okay, Joe. Like, and I'm telling kids at school, like, my dad's gonna be in a goofy mo- in a yeah. goofy uh yeah. in. I didn't know it was a goofy movie, but I was saying in the goofy movie. Yeah, right. You know, it was called the goofy movie. Yeah, I was right. like, dude, I, I just knew goofy was in that shit. Yeah, right. Yeah, you yeah. know, and I didn't know anything really about uh, Powerline until I got the VHS. Okay. Mm. But I was telling kids the whole time, like while he was while it was happening, I was like, my dad is gonna be like, okay, <laughs> cool, yeah, Coca Cola man, yeah, yeah, yeah like, you know, that's crazy. So that is crazy. So yeah, bro. So I was able to intake Powerline from inception, bro, and then, bro. I got okay. Anyways, so my dad, <laughs> dad, you're my hero. Yeah. He don't believe it, but you're my hero, bro. Like mm, he, yeah. say, he don't think he thinks hero. He thinks heroes are guys with capes. Right. You're my hero, bro. Yeah. Not all heroes wear, wear capes. You feel That's me, fact, bro? Yeah. So being able to have that feeling as a kid, bro, and then the kids not believing me too, and I, like if you don't believe me, the best thing you can do is not believe me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, anyways, so that's where it all started with Powerline for me, and kind of hurt my heart when he told me like, oh, like this other guy's gonna sing it and stuff, blah blah blah. blah. And <laughs> but he said he said, but son, I still got the money, so it's yeah. all good. And yeah, the, yeah, and, yeah. And again, that was the thing I could. I I, I was a watcher. Right. I don't want the money. Yeah, right. Thanks. I want the. I want it. Yeah, I want. I thing. want the thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, because I can go get the money. Money can come anytime. Yeah, right. That thing. That's yeah. forever. Yeah. That money is gone. That money gone. Yeah. Right, right. That money gone. That he got yeah. from that gone. Yeah. And not saying gone like he ain't got no money, but that money <laughs> from that it's gotta be gone. Like yeah, you know right, what I'm right. saying? It's a long time ago. And yeah. being the voice of Powerline lives forever. Forever, right. bro. Oh, that's the thing. Forever. It's a legacy. Yeah. It's a legend. Legacy. So yeah. that's what that's how I got started with Powerline. And then once I, you know, once that the VHS came, bro, you couldn't tell me shit. Like, and I felt like watching that movie, I felt like I was watching black kids for the first time. Like that was my <laughs> first time watching like mm-hmm. Black, even though they were dogs and shit, like they were black. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're black saying? And inside. They were black. Yeah. You know, Max was black. Yeah. Goof, I mean, Powerline was Goofy was Goofy. Yeah, he, yeah. Wasn't, he was white. Yeah, um, I but, never thought about it that way. But, but yeah, we, we didn't know his mom, so she was probably yeah, black. Yeah. That's true. That is you know? true. That is true. Um, so, but Powerline was black as shit. No, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh shit, like yeah. you know, so. Yeah, bro. So that was my first experience, that's dope, bro. and from there I just ran with it. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's that's yeah. so dope, though. Like, if my dad was the fucking voice of Powerline too, I'd be going crazy. Bro, like, I was yeah. all the kids. You couldn't yeah. shut me up. And then yeah. even in even in um in middle school, bro. Like, cause I know the facts. I used to tell my friend Matt Pachacara. I didn't lie to you, Matt, but I didn't tell you the truth. <laughs> you know, he, he ended up finding out. I was like, yeah, that's still my dad. Yeah. Cause basically, Tevin just did what my dad did. Like, no, I heard, exactly. I heard both yeah, versions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's the same thing. Yeah, right. Like those runs and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's my dad. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like all that shit. So uh, I would tell him like, yeah, bro, sixth grade. I'd be like, yeah, that's my dad. And he was like, man, I was looking at the credits and I didn't see your dad's name anywhere. I was like, ah, <laughs> like, ah he, he didn't care about that. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. So sorry, Matt. <laughs> but that's how deep it was for me. Like that's yeah. how, that's how like convicted I was that yeah. mm. power line was attached yeah. to me. That's dope. Right. You know? that's that so is cool. dope. Yeah. yeah. Speaking about animation, you know, I'm a huge anime fan mm-hmm. and I noticed like you did the opening theme song for the, my hero academia pilot episode back mm-hmm. in 2019, which went viral and has almost like 5 million views mm-hmm. right now. You know, how was that experience? Shout out to those individuals, man. Uh, there was some big people. Gita Silva. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Cleo Thomas, uh, Riven, uh, Christopher, uh, Hallie, who else? Uh, Nathan, um, uh, and everyone else a part of that, dude. Um, 
This alcohol is getting to me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Jay. Jaquan. Yeah. That's who I wanted to. Jaquan is sick. I'm mm. sorry. Jaquan is a star. Um, but those individuals, I watched them create this thing from inception, bro. And like, mm. I didn't know what they was doing, but I knew it was going to be some heat because all the individuals are part of it. These right. are my friends. Again, being mm. in LA, I just got yeah. crazy friends right, right. that just, I, and I'm blessed. Like, mm. yeah, yeah. I'm just blessed. Like, even knowing you guys, even being here yeah. is blessed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you, bro. Yes, indeed. But, mm. Watching these motherfuckers do their thing, I was like, "Wow!" Yeah, you know, Chris's work has worked uh, worked on uh, Kingsman at the time, mm-hmm. uh, Star Wars. Um, mm. He just he after that he did Shang Chi. Oh, you oh, know, you know what I'm saying he's a black dude. You know, everybody's mm-hmm. black. And bro, watching I watched them. I showed up on a film day because these are the homies. Once again, I'm like, right. they're like, pull up. I was like, all right, cool. Right. I'm watching them do their thing. I'm like. Oh, these, they not motherfucking <laughs> playing. Like, Guy yeah. Silva is fucking Black Panther and mm, shit. He's yeah, yeah. Uh, Optimus Prime. <clears throat> He's a Ninja Turtle. He's a Ninja Turtle and shit. Mm-hmm. Go. Right. Uh, Cleo's Cleo, Cleo, you know, Cleo, Cleo, Cleo yeah. you know, he's he already came with the sw- with right, the sauce, right. <laughs> you know, and everybody around it is, is amazing too. But watching them do their thing, I was like, y'all need a song. Like, I, for some reason, I, that's just what popped in my head. And again, I went to David Phelps. Mm, right. David Phelps. <laughs> Again, uh-huh. David Phelps can do anything. <laughs> mm-hmm. We created that shit in a day in my garage. We went to the garage, smoked some weed, and created that thing in a day, bro. And I just sent it to them. They didn't know I was doing it. They oh, really? didn't know we was doing it at all. I said... So it I wasn't said, even planned. It wasn't even planned. Yeah. I said, hey, here you guys. Um, I wrote this song for the shit. Me and David wrote this song. We did this. Uh, hopefully you'd use it. Or if not, you know, but whatever. Yeah. He ended up making a trailer about it. He ended yeah. up making it the intro. He was like, bro, this shit. Is, he said he kept spinning it over and over and over again while he was editing and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And it just, and the energy that it, you know, I'm not, it, it would have did great without the song. The, 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 the quality is there, right, but right. it was the caps in, in my eyes. It was the, like Sonics is everything. Right, right. Visuals and Sonics is, oh, they, yeah, they, for it sure. goes hand in hand. It was the thing that's, that allowed their My Hero Academia fan video to become its own thing oh yeah for sure you know what i'm saying because yeah. it's like it was so iconic and yeah, rememberable i can't and, even like yeah. i can't and bro i like it's hard you know what i'm saying no, it is. i listen to it on my runs like yeah. that's my that's my like that's my hero Motivation, moment you know yeah. but, and, but again i saw my friends doing what they wanted to do mm. and i wanted and my my job being an la native being a watcher is to be a watcher but just give people what they need to do their thing, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, but stay back, bro. Like, stay back here. Do your thing. Right. Like, do your thing. Oh, this is what you need here. Boom. Do your thing. Fill it. Fill in the fill in the blanks. Fill right. in the, the spaces. Fill in the dead space. Mm-hmm. They had a whole great production. They didn't have the Sonic for it. Right. Right. Boom. Damn, you know what I'm saying? And, it, and that's and that how you start something is how is how it's perceived. You st- the how you start something, the tempo you, and pace you start something sets the precedent for everything following yeah so that was their yeah and you're a real one because you're not even expecting anything back you were yeah, just giving all. it to them I don't give yeah. fuck. Like, yeah. right, and exactly. they were the ones who told me hey you need to start <clears throat> selling this like right like just, they, they kept like telling me like put, make a link like where you can sell it for like 99 cents or, or yeah. like for sell it for uh, they said something i was like i'm gonna sell it for 99 cents if mm-hmm. anything right right you know and people motherfuckers was buying that shit <laughs> i was like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> like, motherfuckers was buying a fucking uh minute and four second song i was mm-hmm. like right hold up oh, yeah. everybody kept asking for like full versions and stuff but again right I can do anything, bro. Yeah, like, exactly. That's how you know, and that's how I, that's how I really want to just do this thing. Like, mm. there's no like, is that that's not that's not my one of my songs, but right. like, I don't even consider that one of my. I don't even consider that me. I mean, not as you mentioned it, mm-hmm. I forgot I not I forgot I did it. But it's, you know what I'm saying? Been so long, yeah. yeah you know, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't look at it like that. I right, look right. at it as theirs. Yeah, exactly. You know that's what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's theirs. Yeah. Like, yeah. boom. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I was on that, but that's theirs. Yeah. Right, right. You know, so, yeah. yeah. No, that's dope. That is dope. Uh, you know, we've talked about him a lot on this podcast, and it's definitely one of the, you know, things we have in common quite a bit is Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. Okay? Um, like, you haven't gotten to the point where you uh you talked on how you got into Michael Jackson. We knew you, you kind of like <sighs> heard him with your dad and stuff yeah. like that, but, like, what <laughs> actually got you into Michael Jackson bro my dad and my sister my sister you ever seen American Dream the movie the Michael yeah, Jackson the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah the Michael bro, Jackson story my dad and my sister were, my sister was Michael Jackson young Michael Jackson the voice mm-hmm. she sang the actor would act singing and my that's my sister's voice and my dad was singing the parts of the 
Jackson Five, mm-hmm. like in so they were worked on the vocal part of for that American movie Dream. for American Damn. Dream. That's oh, crazy. Yeah. As a, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I be and again, I don't. I watched that a movie. A, I, I watched that movie up to today, bro. I, I love that movie. I love it too. Yeah, I love I, that yeah. movie, bro. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. You know, I, and I don't talk to people a lot. So like, we saying this thing right now. I haven't said this in a long time, but I yeah. and I'm I'm like blowing my own mind. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's how I was, I was this close. I could have been born first, <laughs> and this close from being Michael Jackson. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, you mean the the young kid that played in uh my, as MJ? Yes, in American so, Dream. So when, before he before he was Jason, we before he was like yeah. teenage Mike. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Young the young. Yeah, he looked like me. Damn yeah. Like, Climb <laughs> every yeah. mountain. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, shake it up, and I yeah. shake it. That's my sister, yeah. mm-hmm. and that's my dad yeah. singing in the background mm-hmm. with that's her. Crazy. And so, like, and that, and you know, I'm saying that's what I grew up knowing. And my, me and my sister are eight years apart. Me and my brother are eight years apart. We're all eight years, eight years apart. So when I was born, they already, they were doing that shit. So when I was like coming to, that was the hot shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. American Dream, Michael Jackson, Jackson Five Story. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, again, looking at the TV, and these are the fuckers that are in their rooms. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, these right. are these, fu- you know. Sorry. And no, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> you know, I was calling, saying sorry to call them fuckers, but <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? But yeah. like, my sister doesn't even like talk about it. Like, mm. you're crazy. Yeah. You're crazy, Brandy. <laughs> you're crazy. You know what I'm saying? My dad doesn't really talk about it either. Because yeah. again, that was that whole experience for them. To me, it was like, wow. For them, yeah, right. it was kind of a nightmare. Yeah. Mm. Because like. Uh, Jermaine Jackson fucking fucked over everybody on that mm-hmm. whole thing. And so the reason you see it on, you see it on VHS, I yeah. mean VH1 all the time is because mm. you, they wouldn't play it anywhere, anywhere else it got played. Everyone would get paid, but only on VH1. Was, yeah. was, would, uh, but originally it was played on ABC or, uh, he stopped all that shit. He did, but it was originally yeah. on there. And then, yeah, that's mm-hmm. where, that's where I would usually watch it was, uh, mm-hmm. VH1 and all that. But you know, like all, all, all we can really watch it on now is YouTube. Yeah, I, and Jermaine I, fucked it up for everybody. Yeah. So he's the only one who really gets paid off of that. Yeah. So that's why, and and I'm like them too. I'm like my family too. If you rub us the wrong way, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't give a yeah. what it is. I yeah, don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, you know what I'm saying? But man, that was my intro to the world of Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. And it was a real ass fucking experience. Cause it's like, yeah. okay, to me as a kid, and I'm like, I have a grand imagination. Like I watch a movie and think mm-hmm. I'm the main character after coming out the theater. Yeah. Like, after Fast and the Furious was coming out, I was racing in the street by myself. Mm-hmm. You know, I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. So, like, as a kid, I was like, well, since that's Michael Jackson, and that's my dad and my sister, and they're in the Michael Jackson movie, I can definitely meet this guy. Mm-hmm. You know, I can definitely figure this out. I can yeah. definitely do this because yeah. that's too close. I'm too close yeah. to the heat right, right. that I can't do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, And you couldn't tell me otherwise as a kid, like, I'm a grown man now and I understand that there's like checks and balances and yeah. like there's doubts and stuff that come into play, but there was no doubts as mm-hmm. a kid. Like, right. Oh yeah. Like <laughs> the next Michael Jackson movie, it's going to yeah. be me. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I uh, said, I'm next. Yeah. Never happened. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was my intro to Michael. And then from there, bro, like just like intaking like all the CDs in my house that I had a Michael Jackson yep. day in, day out, bro. I even played like, you remember the history album? Yeah, of course. Of there course. was a song called, uh, uh, Susie, little Susie, Susie yeah, little Somebody Susie. Somebody yeah. killed. I used to sing the fuck out of that song for mm-hmm. no reason. Sad ass song, but yeah. everything Michael Jackson, I just ingested. Mm-hmm. Every new song I could find, I ingested, bro. Yeah. Like, there's not a song, there's not a clip of Michael's voice that I don't think I've heard, bro. Mm-hmm. And if it had, if it did, it just came out recently. Right now, they're coming out with a whole bunch of heat. Yeah, a whole yeah. bunch of heat. Yeah, I'm about yeah. to start a TikTok called Like Mike Two, <laughs> where I take all of Michael's vocals that they do on TikTok yeah. and I show like. They're breaking it down one mm-hmm. by one. Oh, I, I watch that. Yeah, I know. I watch a dude on YouTube that does that, and I watch those videos. Me too. Yeah, I'm gonna I love sing those. those same parts, and then be like, "Well, how did I do, guys?" And you're gonna hear Michael's version and my version because you know I like oh, that's harmonies. Fire. Yeah, yeah. The, all my harmonies is because yeah. of this motherfucker, mm-hmm. like right. Liberian girl. Yeah. Like that, those harmonies, I remember being like, <sighs> "Yeah, can I hear it?" I was like, "Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I see what he did there. Yeah, that's air. Mm-hmm. Okay, fuck. Yeah. Okay, so." I'm gonna try to do like a check, like a, That's like a comparison thing. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, that because dope. I I watch those videos all the time, and th- for some reason they just started getting popular on YouTube, um, mm-hmm. where you know they're showing uh, all the raw tracks and mm-hmm. uh, showing you know talking about the vocals mm-hmm. and all that. So that shit is dope. I I think I think you're gonna have a good niche. And you realize with that. he wasn't right. even that good. Like like mm. you know what I'm saying? Like he was amazing. Yeah. But he wasn't that good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
it's an energy thing, man. Yeah, he wasn't yeah. the best singer. Mm -hmm. When you listen to those things, it's, he has a lisp. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's like, uh, uh, Dilla, Dilla night. Yeah. But those are the background vocals. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's Dilla. It's yeah. not Thriller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dilla. Like, yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Like, Dilla right. night. Yeah. What? Yeah. You know? Yeah. But all together, it's Thriller. Yeah. It's like, what? It's that? crazy. You know it, what I'm saying? His his layering is so crazy because he has so much. Mm -hmm. And I, it that's what brings, you know, the actual song together, mm -hmm. I, in my opinion. It's the least. magic, bro. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And it, it's crazy seeing, you know, what he actually did with all the tracks and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, what mm -hmm. would you say is, like, uh, your favorite album? It's hard because they're like all of them are great, bro. I've got like Michael Jackson uh, action figures, dog. Like, I'm I'm Pop I'm still toys. yeah. See, yeah. I, I was gonna I ask you about that. I'm still. They just came out with a uh, uh, a new smooth criminal. The one, this one. Yeah, yeah. I I want to yeah. get that. I'm getting, I'm getting it. I'm trying to get that. That thing is fucking expensive, though. I know. It's it's fucking expensive. But that's I I'm waiting I to might get be that. Able to get it cheaper. So if I do, I'll see if they got two. Oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> Appreciate yeah. you. No, because honestly, I want to get that. That shit is fucking big too. Mm -hmm. It's like this tall or something. Damn, that's I've got, huge. I've got, yeah. I've got two, uh, the pop toys are like 12 inch or two, I think uh they're foot. Yeah, I was gonna things. ask you because Damn. I saw you you got the MJ Funko and I've. You know, we go to the... Uh, Forget the Funkos. I got the Pop Toy Boy. The ones with the interchangeable arms, interchangeable okay. clothes. You can move his eyes like this. Like, what the it, fuck? Oh, damn. You know, you know have seen these things? No. It, it's, it's that. I think because I don't think the, the Smooth Criminal was Pop Toys. But Pop Toys, you know, Pop Toys like yeah. the real like the elaborate. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got them. I got, yeah, I got yeah. Bad my, bad Era and Thriller. Thilla. Well, yeah. see... <laughs> Thilla. Thilla. No, Thilla. because honest, like, uh, you ever been to Frank and Sons? Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. like, you know, we go there quite a bit and I always go there looking for an MJ uh, Funko Pop and all that. And damn, it's fucking hard to yeah. find. And if you do find it, they're like three or 400 bucks. Yeah. And I'm like, God damn. Like, and what's crazy yeah. is, oh man, you, you mentioned the Funko Pops. One of my fans, I'm going to get to your answer your question on which my favorite album, but one of my fans started me on my whole like Michael Jackson collectible journey. Her name mm. was uh, Zachoy Jesse. She just died this year, bro. Oh, she was she was like a that. super like yeah. boy band fan. Like every boy band, like JoJo on the radio from right. out here, he knows her too. Like everybody knows her. You know mm. what I'm saying? But she right, fucking right. loved us too. But yeah. she got me my first Michael Jackson Funko. Mm -hmm. And it was the um the Smooth Criminal. Yeah. And I couldn't be, you know, I couldn't be, this my, that was the first time anybody's done something for me like that. Mm -hmm. Like Yeah. That I didn't know, yeah, you know, because I'm real. I'm a, I was a real. I'm a real dude now, but I was a real dude and during that whole experience. It mm -hmm. didn't make sense why fangirls existed. Like, yeah. what are you doing? Go home. Yeah, You're, the show doesn't start till later on. Mm -hmm. Go home. Yeah, you yeah. know. But she like her, girls like her, bro. She was like, look, I realized that you like Michael Jackson a lot. Blah blah blah. So I wanted to. I, I found this and I bought this for you. And I was like. Wow, it started my and then she started getting yeah. me more, and I started my whole collection yeah. and stuff through her, and I started buying her stuff. So, yes, the Funko stuff, the collections and stuff is mm -hmm. really cool. I got started by way of Jesse Zachoid. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Jesse, man, you're the one. Um, as far as my favorite album goes, it's gonna have to be the Bad album. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love Bad. Yeah. Bad is it because yeah. it's got Bad. Yeah. It's got. All the sleepers like Smooth Just Criminal. Good Friends, Stevie yeah, Wonder's on there. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, Smooth Criminal, everything Liberian on there, girl. bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's 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 the it's the era of Michael that I even respect the most because. Um, we interrupt this episode with a word from our sponsor. Are you looking for a way to energize for the day? We got a product that will do just that. Introducing Gamer Subs. Gamer Subs is a keto-friendly, zero-calorie, zero-sugar-based energy drink that introduces nootropics to sharpen focus and increase reaction time. Gamer Subs is also organic caffeine base that will maximize energy and endurance. To make it easier, each scoop used is 100 milligrams so you don't go over your daily limit. Each tub of Gamer Subs contains 100 servings. Gamer Subs also provides caffeine free tubs for those that just want their daily vitamin dose without the need for caffeine. Not only do they have energy drinks, they also have dope merch such as these waifu cups, t-shirts and hoodies and much more. Are you ready to energize with Gamer Subs? Use our code Artist You Drop on their website and receive a 10% off discount. Hey, now back to the show. It's the era of Michael that I respect the most because I feel like he was just now getting out of his bag. Mm -hmm. You know, he was in his bag the yeah. whole time, but he got out of his bag yeah. in, in a good way because mm -hmm. he grew long hair. He got light skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
He wanted to be me pretty much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He wanted to be me pretty yeah, much. That's yeah, how yeah. I feel. Yeah. So, you know, and he was free in his mind and in his creativity at that time to where he was able to give us bad. He was able, able to give us Liberian girl. He was able to give us, um, smooth criminal, yeah. uh, visuals, you know, he was able to just, and everything that happened after that. So the bad, el- that bad era album and all that stuff, bro, mm-hmm. really set the tone for the Michael that I aspire to, uh, achieve to be one day as far yeah. as energy mm-hmm. yeah, goes yeah. and what kind of energy he, it evokes when you listen and experience oh, yeah. that yeah. that time and that mm-hmm. exper- that that thing. You yeah. know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Fact. No, and sure. no, and I I agree with you too. Bad is definitely one of my favorite albums, just because all the hits were literally on that album. But one mm-hmm. album I want to say that you know isn't as hype. I would say you know, and I want to get your point as a, another Michael Jackson fan is Blood on the Dance Floor. <laughs> you know, it's just mm-hmm. one of those albums where it was like you know you got Blood on the Dance Floor, you got Ghosts. Mm-hmm. Um, and those were probably one of the two songs I would say that you know you got morphine. I morphine was okay, but you know like <laughs> it, 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 yeah. it it was okay, you know. But like me and David talk about this shit all the time. Yeah, yeah. see, I, right. I I can talk about yeah, MJ all right. the time. Yeah, you're right. Like, yeah, yeah. It's just one of those albums though that just wasn't as you know hype. And i what's your take on it? I just want to know your take on that. Um, I would say I I love Ghost the you know the short film Ghost, yeah. the, the, short the short film, film. yeah the short even film the was Ghost, awesome even even the songs like Ghost I think it was the other one like uh from that movie to uh, something else. Yeah, uh, the, uh, my favorite part was the breakdown. Yeah, that shit that is fucking hard. fire. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, that shit is fucking fire. So what I feel is this, bro. Like every star has it. Every king has its has its fall. Every mm-hmm. star has its starts dimming. You know, yeah. has a, has an end to its shine. So like that album wasn't as I still accepted that album. I do too, for sure. I, you know I still love it. I'm just saying it's not as right. hype. It's not know? as hype, yeah. but the hype for me, where the hype died, bro, was when this motherfucker put out "You Rock My World," right? And yeah. I love that song, bro. Mm-hmm. But the video, yeah, I remember being so excited. I was like, "Here we go!" Here we <laughs> yeah, go. Be like, yeah. <laughs> 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 Damn. I was like, all right, that's cool. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's funny. I mean, he got Marlon Brando yeah. in there. Don't <laughs> yeah, say yeah. that. I'm like, what's going on? Yeah. You know, and that's the moment I I felt like he really was uh not dying. Yeah. But yeah, dying. Shit, yeah, right, it. Yeah. It shit. I, I think so too, you know. You know? And yeah. uh, like I said, you know, he still went about uh uh You Rock My World. Like mm-hmm. he still went about going, you know, the typical m- short film music yep, videos but is, when I saw Marlon Brando in there I was like okay this shit is this legit. shit might, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah this know, shit, and, th- and, but everything around Michael was stellar yeah. I was talking about when I saw I was I'm a watcher mm-hmm. all I was watching was Michael yeah mm-hmm. and I was That's like true. oh he's slowing down yeah. <laughs> like oh my god yeah. you can't even see his face they're not showing <laughs> yeah. his face oh yeah. why does he look like that <laughs> don't show his face go back to not showing his face oh shit why'd they shoot on this day if he yeah, wasn't ready yeah. like you know shit like that like you know what I'm saying the spins and yeah. shit was slow yeah yeah. you know but everything else was amazing no, Chris was. everything yeah, Chris, so like Chris was funny in there too blood on the dance floor yeah. slash you rock my world yeah. all that whole time bro yeah. Like even I just now started listening to Blood on the song Blood on the Dance Floor. Mm-hmm. I didn't even like that shit, but like every time I saw that the back beat, in the, though, I love the yeah. beat. Yeah, yeah, I love the even beat. the beat now. Yeah, but, yeah. but I didn't. I didn't. I, as a Michael Jackson fan, for me, bro, I was like, this is not up to par with what I with what I appreciate. Mm-hmm. So I ain't even going to intake this. Yeah, no, right. I get what you know. I get what I'm saying. saying so I intook yeah, it like later on in life. Yeah. But as a kid, yeah. I was like, nope. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, I <laughs> trust me. I agree with you. I agree you know? with yeah. you. And um, I, I also think that's the same way I felt growing up was like you know I, I grew up with MJ since I was a kid. Mm-hmm. You know, um, watching him at like the AMAs mm-hmm. and you know uh, MTV Music Awards and you know I grew up on all that shit trying to imitate his dance moves and you know my parents raised me on great music but nice. MJ yeah. was the person prime were, yeah, yeah prime you know and that's how I, you know. That's how I I grew to be like you know a huge MJ fan and, crea- and stuff that's like probably, that. It probably sparked your creativity too, yeah. bro, because he right. was giving us shit, bro, that we ain't never that's seen. That's what before. I, I, he was the first Transformer. Sure. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> he was. Yes, he was. He was in Moonwalker. Like he I love the I, first Transformer. I, 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 yeah, I love that scene. That we a, saw Michael Miss Prime before we saw Optimus. Yes, yes, yeah, right, yes. Right. And that's I I want to say that's also how it relates back to my artistry. It's just because his creativity, he directed majority almost like of right, his right, films. Right. You know, he had the ideas, the creativity and, you know, like 
he even said before, like, you know, if this if he wasn't doing music, he'd be directing movies. Yeah. And, right. you know, like he is one like just his creativity and everything. That's what it also inspired me to, you know, do filmmaking mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Just because of thriller. Thriller is the number one, yeah. you know, most, of course, most expensive or no. Mm-hmm. Scream is the most expensive yeah, music yeah, yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. But no, it's sure. thriller. It's uh. It, you it's, know, the it's, it's, it's the hottest. It's the game video. changing yeah, yeah, most yeah, yeah. video yeah, yeah, yeah. of yeah. the world. It is. It is. Movie. It is. You know, and that's damn. I used to be scared of thriller. And he before. was like eighteen. I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah what the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I used to be scared of that How shit you? before. <laughs> How are you doing that at exactly. eighteen, yeah. bro? Yeah, you gotta yeah, have yeah. a different life. Yes. Yes. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And like, any man, that was the best mic too, low key, because he was dark skin mic, and he was just like. <laughs> like, it's different Like that mic The way he moves there yeah. The way he moves Like when he's light skin yeah. Two different dudes No right, right. facts Facts, ah! facts. Yeah. So no, should facts. I go dark skin Like should I go Oh wait a minute No bro light wait skin Wait a minute I'm already light skin bro <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I can't go white <laughs> go Do yeah. both Best of both worlds Yeah I know Facts Facts, facts. Like, No so y'all could really have Like a whole MJ podcast We, we could You guys could go forever Yeah we literally could I love MJ You know I respect Everything he's done He's definitely changed the game But I'm not like super fan it's like that it's you okay. You will, you will That's why I say we no, can yeah. literally have a whole podcast <laughs> just talking about MJ. Like, no, you guys could. Yeah. yeah. So um, switching over, like um, away from the music and going into a little bit of your personal side, like I saw your very proud and supportive father. You know, how has becoming a father helped you, like personally and also musically throughout you know the years? He's showing oh, us something, oh. guys. Oh, what we got? Oh, oh dad. That's dope. You see okay. it? Yeah, that's Reppin'. dope. Wear it on my chest. You yeah, see it? That's dope. That's nah, dope. man. Yeah. Being a dad, bro. Y'all not dads, right? No. Bro, no, being yeah. a dad, bro. I mean, he's a grandpa, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck no, you. that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Your grandpa? Wait, what? No. Oh, no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm just saying, because he's old. He's old. No, 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 no. But um, being a dad, bro. All right, so before being a dad, I used to work with kids. Okay. Shout out to LA's Best. I used to work an after school program, right? And again, relating to Michael Jackson, mm. he didn't mess with those kids, bro. He just knew a secret that everybody tries to deny, mm. where mm. that is, which is that kids are the closest to the source. They're they come from they're closest to where we come from before we're here, okay? And kids have the magic, and kids kids have the the special ability to see things, see the unseen, you know mm. what I'm saying, and speak the unseen. Trust me. So. <clears throat> My daughter, bro, mm-hmm. Isabella Nicole Diggs, mm-hmm. is the best person I know. The best human being. Ethics, morals, talent, love, respect that I know. Mm. Um, she's taught me how to, kids will teach you how to not forget where we come from, Mm. the source. Everything is not so serious. Mm -hmm. Things become serious. You know what I'm saying? So being a dad has allowed me to have the resource, the the, the ability to have a resource of a well of information from the source. So Izzy's allowed me to stay childish. You know, without feeling so bad. Because if I was still like this and I had no kids, I'd have mm-hmm. no, like, like bro, why are you <laughs> acting like that, yeah. bro? Like, mm-hmm. being a dad has taught me, like, how to, like, kind of, like, still be creative, man, and not lose myself out mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, uh, there's so many things I could talk about, and I'm trying to, all right, so mm-hmm. I I, w- I love being a dad, bro. I love being right, Izzy's right. dad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's allowed me to just, to survive, right. you know, because if I didn't, I, I know my, like the, even the group, they don't have kids. Mm, yeah. Right. And I'm not saying that I'm not saying anything about their trajectory, but I know that I'm, I'm at an advantage mm-hmm. having Izzy. Right. Mm-hmm. Where at one point I thought having Izzy with that group, with that situation was a disadvantage. Right, and right, so did sure. everyone else around me. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like even when I told them I was having a kid, they were like, what the fuck? Yeah. They are like, are you crazy? Like, mm-hmm. what the fuck we right. got? We're going on tour. Yeah. Like, exactly. we're doing shit. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But bro, like being a dad has allowed me the space and opportunity to like grow constantly. She's always watching me. Like she's like, they're watching you all the time, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
she's the she's my watcher. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, she's my watcher, yeah. bro. You passed down the torch, yeah. bro. She's my watcher. <laughs> oh my gosh, but daddy, did you did you run today? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> You how old how is she? You don't really want it. Nine going on mm. forty five. Okay. <laughs> no, but she's really That's what I'm saying. She, she's yeah, got yeah. it, bro. Like, yeah. man, like I wish I was her, bro. I mm. wish. Oh man, I wish. I wish. <laughs> oh, I wish I was her so bad because it's like and she can sing her fucking ass off. She's uh, so yeah. talented, bro. Child's play. I what I do, what we all do, child's play. This mm-hmm. future the future. Uh-huh. So being a dad allows me to see the future. Mm-hmm. It allows me to to be to be present, mm-hmm. but also understand that being present can get stale and old and i need somebody else to help me be present mm. like because my presence when we grow as we grow our presence mm-hmm. is where uh, is where we're at but right. life continues to evolve like mm-hmm. we see our parents grow out of technology like that that's yeah. not going to be us because right. we are with all this tech but there's going to be right. something else that comes around that we're mm-hmm. going to be like oh right you know but through by way of her she's going to allow me not to get lost in the sauce right, right, right. you For know sure. what i'm saying to stay current and stay yeah. stay here so being a dad is one of the best things I could like do as an artist, as a human being, as a man, Yeah, you know, cause it's just giving me a space to just really show up for more than just myself, Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you know, but show up and showing up for myself first. Cause I can't take care of her yeah. if I don't right, handle right. me. Exactly. Mm-hmm. For sure. You know, Facts. people be like, Oh, you gotta yeah. take your kid. No, you take care of your fucking self, bro. Yeah. Right. Right. And then you'll be able to take care of your kid. Facts. Right. Right. You know? So yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout that's out dope. To dope. That, yeah. That's really dope. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we learned all about your artistry. What can we expect from you this coming year or even, you know, in the future? Um, You could just expect me to start dropping shit. Like, I'm, I've been preparing all this stuff um, for all these, like, probably, like, two or three years now. And I've just been, like, overloading my, you know, my bank. You know, mm-hmm. I got I got money mm-hmm. in the bank. Mm-hmm. You know, I mm-hmm. got money in the <laughs> bank. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh-huh. once I start spending that money on, you know, on everybody's uh, attention... Mm-hmm. Um, just expect oh, me, you know what I'm saying? What I, what I, what I put out before wasn't necessarily me. Yeah. It was what I thought I had to be, mm. if that made sense, yeah, no, which is an artist, but yeah. I'm not an mm. artist. Like John Fervo is not an actor. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. motherfucker is some other shit. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He's not even like, he's, and he's only just getting started. Yeah, I know right. he is. Yeah. Cause he even introduced us to like this new tech. Mm-hmm. And and it like, is bro, crazy. Bro, that bro, shit I'm, is fucking bro, crazy. Mandalorian, like yeah. because of that. I'm working with LED screens and stuff like mm-hmm. now, like all that stuff now too. Like yeah. because of, so that's what I'm saying. So in the future, in the near future, mm-hmm. in the near future, expect me to uh, start setting up a world for J Rocket and start introducing that world of J Rocket and really start uh, singing more. Because I'm gonna start s- just singing more yeah. as well, just yeah, because I can, mm-hmm. you know. Right. Exactly. But I, and I've done a lot. I've done. I spent enough time building a foundation for mm-hmm. J Rocket to allow me to start doing other things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, expect me to start showing myself more, mm-hmm. showing up more. Right. to more things showing show my face more on the internet mm-hmm. and showing me and my daughter more because yeah. fuck everything I got going on me and her are Kobe and Shaq mm-hmm. who's gonna hey. stop us yeah yep. who <laughs> you know what I'm saying nobody can yeah. stop us bro mm-hmm. especially when we're like together like yeah. that's mm-hmm. like two of me mm-hmm. and it's, it's the, but the girl version so I'm the weak one yeah. you know <laughs> like, like you know I'm I'm the weak one I'm I'm Shaq uh-huh. you yeah. know she's Kobe yeah. you know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah. for sure yeah so yeah, in the near future, just just expect me to start, you know, coming out of my cave more. Yeah, yeah. we're excited oh, for it. We're yeah. excited to see what for you sure. drop, especially J Rocket. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely excited to see how that turns out. Mm-hmm. Um, what advice would you give to you know upcoming artists themselves? <clears throat> Listen to yourself. You know, don't spend less time listening to others and more time listening to the the inner self. Because there's this there's that voice that we hear everybody else's voice, but we we tend to like dim our own voice. And that voice, we, we do that because that voice in our head is the truth. And we run away from the truth all the time. Mm-hmm. You're scared, bro. Mm-hmm. That's okay. Yeah. It's okay to be scared. Yeah. You don't have to, you can, and you can be scared. Like, don't act like <clears throat> if somebody's telling you to drop something and you want to drop it, then drop it. But if somebody's mm-hmm. telling you to drop something, but you're not ready to drop it because you're scared, be scared, bro. Mm-hmm. Don't drop that shit because they said something. Yeah. Be scared. Mm-hmm. Understand yourself. Figure yourself out, bro. But don't wait too long. Of course, like yeah, don't right. like when 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 I say, don't be afraid of waiting. Don't be afraid of waiting, but don't stop working. You right. know what I'm saying? Just because I have an album or two song albums worth of songs together already, 
and I'm not working on that anymore and I'm waiting to drop that, I'm working on J-Rock and on this other bullshit. Yeah. And when yeah. I'm not working on J-Rock and I'm recording some other shit. So exactly. it's like, yeah. yeah, everything is waiting because once you drop, mm-hmm. everyone's going to forget about the dead mm-hmm. time. Everybody, Nobody's going to remember yeah. right. what happened before, mm-hmm. you right. know, that time. They're just going to be worried about what's happening right now. Right. You know, and time is, people don't realize that time is uh, is relative. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So for somebody else, like, man, why are you not doing it? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's like, that's to the and that's that's their reality, mm-hmm. you know. In right. their reality, they haven't heard a song from you in a couple of years. Yeah, right. Yeah. In your reality, you've been working your ass off for a couple of years. Yeah, right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, Preparing exactly. for the time to show to put your best foot forward. Oh yeah, because for sure. a lot of times people are putting their like even like these main artists, bro. Like I'm not even gonna say no names, but if you got money, right. there's certain things, there's certain quality, like bro. I'm spending my money, my own goddamn money. I ain't got, I ain't got bread like that. But I'm spending my own goddamn money. A lot of the shit I'm working on is light years mm-hmm. ahead of what are people are just putting on the internet just to put something on it and right, to be right. seen. Yeah, right. You know, be like, here I am. Yeah. yeah. You're like, oh well, you should have just left that in the, because what's because of what's possible. Right, mm-hmm. right. So don't be afraid to, to um, what did I hear today? Ray Charles said it. He was like, don't be afraid to wait for the right note. It's like mu- life is like music. Mm-hmm. It's like. Don't just hit the wrong note, bro. Mm. Don't do that shit. Like, don't hit the wrong note. Wait mm. till you hit the right note. Yeah. Right. You know, because if you hit the wrong note, that's the wrong note, bro. Right, right. Now or later, it's the wrong note. <laughs> right, right. Later, make sure it's the... If, even if it's later, make sure it's the right note when mm-hmm. you do it. Yeah. You exactly, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't be putting out mm-hmm. bullshit. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So... That's a real artist. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's a real mindset. Yeah. yeah. For sure. That's dope, bro. That's dope. You know, you were giving shout outs pretty much the whole... <laughs> fucking show I, I'm, I'm a people person man. no but we're, we're giving you the chance to give your last shout outs David Phelps shout out to David Phelps man Miguel Wilson uh, Steve Stein Pete Farmer Midnight Red all those boys bro my daughter Isabella my dad my whole family um, shout out to me you know shout out to you Joey Hey. Joey Diggs Jr., you're going to watch this one day and you're going to be like, damn, that's your first podcast. <laughs> you are a player. You, you, started, with, you started here. You yeah. know, you didn't quite you know, start here, but you en- ended up starting here as a, on the, as a podcast. Mm-hmm. But things are going for you, man. And everything Facts. that you said happened, you know, exactly the way you planned it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You stuck to your shit. So shout out to you, bro. That's, that's, that's yeah. dope. You're yeah. the first person that gave a shout out to themselves. Yeah. <laughs> I just imagine Chronicle. it in like yeah. a time capsule. Then like it's like, yeah, 10 it's years like a time later. Yeah. They know that yeah. Joey Diggs Jr. was going to change the world. <laughs> that's that's Cootie from, from the Kanye uh, documentary. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. yeah, yeah. They know. Yeah. <laughs> and shout out Q Disney. Shout out Q Disney, my head anime. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> okay, where on social media can our viewers find you? <clears throat> Uh, at Joey Diggs Jr. pretty much across the board. Um, in the future, I'm going to have, like, I'm going to just start making, like, some, uh, people used to have, like, pseudo names. I'm going to have, like, pseudo personalities mm-hmm. on the internet and Like Mike 2 will come out soon and Jay Rocket, like, the right. at Jay Rocket and stuff. Yeah. But right now, immediately, at Joey Diggs Jr. Dope. JR. Dope. Hey, that's dope. And Joey, you know, we appreciate you coming on the show. You know, mm-hmm. we're glad to be your very first podcast. This was definitely a fun episode. I love talking about MJ with you. Mm-hmm, I, you know, too. like yeah. I, I don't have that many yeah. people to talk MJ with. <laughs> yeah. He's not a fan. My girlfriend, she's okay. But, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, uh, you got to okay. say that, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got it. Because, you know, like so, sometimes I'll be talking to her. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, so it was super dope, you know, talking to you Likewise. about MJ. Yeah. Uh, but guys, we hope you enjoyed this episode. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, it's Artistry Drop. If you're not following us on Instagram, you can find us at the Artistry Drop. And if you prefer just listening, you can stream all our episodes on all major podcast platforms. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Peace.